this way before. Travel with open door. Circumstances navigate the path. And life happens all so fast. No, we got no means. Sometimes you see, I know. I know we couldn't make it. Even when I'm off the I still land on my feet. And nothing can shake me. Cause I know my turn. This is where I am destined to be. I'm not ready to give up. I believe in the miracle of life. Life's a break for no rehearsal. No quickly, they'll come for your goal. Games to play, can't take it from snow. Cause the devil is a liar. Determined to be the greatest, yeah. Bobbing and weaving, they changing up like the seasons. Indigenous to the ground, so I do it for all my people. Jabbing the competition, back up against the rope. She fighting for recognition. I'm fighting just to promote equality where we lack it. While cancer slow on our road, I'm confident we'll make it. We focus on common goals, yeah. Give back, give up, give things Never, ever stand tall to fight another day. To be, I said, on the ground. I'm going to battle and fight this final round. Life's a great so no quickly they'll come for your goal. Can't get quick, can't take it from snow. Cause the devil is a lie. Hey, tell me you what you do. Hey, it's only what you do. Hey, some things you gotta do. Love is the word. Demetrius, what up? Devon, what up? What up? What up? Woke the truth. Josh, what it do? What it do? Birdman, what's up? We got a bet, right? Who did I bet? You, Birdman? What's up, KJ? Utah in the house. What up, G Brown? Kane bound. Okay, okay. What's up, Harris? What's up, Eric? What up, Kenneth? What up, Yova? What's up, Melissa? How you feel? How you feel? What's up, Davis? What's up, Davis? Harris, it just jumped on. We're going to have a party in here, man. Recent. What's up, Bias Radio? Yes, okay, we got a hundred dollars, right? AJ McCoy, man, he gonna get the sh man, he gonna get smacked, dog. He about to get smacked, dog. Sean Porter about to get smacked. You saw a preview last night with that Shakur Stevens and Jamel Herring. All that jitter, 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 jitter. Go, go, go. Motherfucking remote control car run gonna run. Hey, Sean Porter's remote control car is gonna run out of batteries against against uh Terrence Crawford. I saw it last night. I saw it last night. Anyways, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Welcome to the show, man. Without further ado, Nine Wives, the award-winning film, Nine Wives. Let me enlarge this so just in case the people that that's sitting in the back can see it. <laughs> Is what? I said Malcolm alleged that uh, uh, some of Elijah's women were underage secretaries. And can you expound on that? Yeah, well, I guess they were because they were there. I seen, I seen them. I see them myself. It's all true. It's all true. Good evening, messenger. Red light, green light. <laughs> Your 
convince us that you are the last messenger. How many other bastard children do you have? She was 15. 15, y'all. At least 15. Welcome to the show, y'all. Welcome to the show. Someone asked me, is is uh Bo you think Bo Mac is a good trainer? I think Bo Mac needs a good trainer. That's what I think he needs. And and and, and you know what's uh it, it was funny, like when I joked about him about two years ago. But now the the, the it, it's like almost to the point where who's gonna say something to him? You know what I mean? Like, I think he's gotten bigger. You know, like I I well, I haven't seen him in such a long time, like as it pertains to uh uh boxing because he hasn't had any fights on tv i don't know has he i don't know well crawford ain't fought in a year so i really ain't seen him but this was my first time seeing him fight week and it looks like he's gotten bigger man it looks like he's gotten bigger man what's up man i see you out there man uh prepping man i saw you out there prepping dog yeah man stay ready tv boxing man shout out to you last week you had a great week last week man shout out to you had to stop and show some love before bed man i don't get to catch the show live much but i'm still listening man salute big bro i truly appreciate you man i truly appreciate you man and uh no i say this out of pragmatic out of pragmatic love you know what i mean you know what i'm saying someone better have a bo, bo mac needs an intervention you know what I mean? And, and and I don't say that out of haste, disdain. But if I had someone in my life that weighed 250 pounds and then they weighed 270 pounds, Fred going to say something. It's just who I am as a person. Uh, so hopefully this message gets to Bo Mac and, and, and he takes pride in his health because... Um, Nobody wants to see their family member in an oversized casket, man. And no one wants to see their family and no one wants to see their family die young because of self-inflicted wounds. You know, um, you know, if if I had people around me that smoke cigarettes, I would tell them every time I saw them, you know, you're killing yourself <laughs> if you're close to me, obviously, you know, but you know, but uh, he looked bigger, man. He looks unhealthy. He looks unhealthy. I know he had a rough year. Rest in peace to his son. Uh, I don't want that to go without mentions. I know he lost a son this year or during COVID, excuse me. One of these, I know it was recent. And uh, my condolences to his family as it pertains to that. But but uh, it's time for Bo Mac to start taking care of him, taking care of himself, for sure, for sure. Or else, you know, so. Um, and that's uh, not out of haste. That, that message is definitely not taken to haste. But take care of your health, Bo Mac, for real, for real. Um, so let me tell you what I thought of the fight. I was, I thought going into the fight that Jamel Herring would attempt to be Sean Porter ish. I did. And then, and then Shakur Stevenson woke him up with two jabs at the top of the round, round one. Like, nah, nah, this ain't going to be what you're going to think it's going to be. And uh, he dominated the entire fight. I was vastly impressed. Um, I believe him to be a problem. Uh, he's had, that is the best performance that I think I've seen this year in terms of level of competition. I don't think Angelo Leo is on the level of Jamel Herring because Jamel Herring is a, uh, um, um, Jamel Herring is an Olympian and a and a champion. Angelo Leo was a was just a young champion. So I would put this performance over. I I, I thought Stevie Fulton's performance was better. Um, I thought Erickson Lubin's performance looked good, but I liked the Shakur Stevenson's. I I I really liked Shakur Stevenson's performance. It was very mature. It was very methodical. It was on time. And what I mean by on time, he didn't rush anything. Uh, he was comfortable in middle distance, inside, from the outside, back foot, front foot dominant. I mean, Jamel Herring could do nothing with that kid last night. And uh, um, I walked away like, damn, how does, how does a 24-year-old have that much composure 
in the clinches like that, man. I was very, very impressed. He didn't seem anxious at all. And um, I want to say congratulations to Shakur. I thought Jamel Herring was was just, you know, he got old last night. Jamel Herring really, really got old last night in the ring. And you know what I couldn't unsee? I couldn't unsee that he looked like Kevin Kelly last night with the little afro. I couldn't unsee that shit. I was trying to, I was trying to think of something else, but every time I looked at the TV, I'm like, that's Kevin Kelly. <laughs> Shout out to Kevin Kelly, man. He had one of the bad, the greatest fights of my childhood, man. Of my young adult life, man. Shout out to Kevin Kelly. That was a hell of a fight. Matter of fact, I think I still watch that fight once every two years or so. Kevin Kelly and Prince Ahmed, knockdown after knockdown after knockdown after knockdown, you know, so um, great fight. That that was one for the ages. Um, but I'm opening up the phone lines, man. I'm really excited to hear what you got to say because I know Shakur Stevenson fans are, are really ready to mash the gas as it pertains to him. Um, I don't know what I don't know what I don't know what to make of Jamel Herring. Uh, I, what, what's up all around strong? I think he had a I think this maybe was a career high payday for him. I I think this might be a career. He got one point five million dollars last night. So that means Shakur Stevenson is now in the million dollar ranks now. Right. So he'll be making a million minimum million dollars per fight now. That That's that's good. He's climbed the ranks and. Uh, um, everyone is pressing for the Oscar Valdez fight. It makes sense. They're on the same side of the street. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, not, not Shakur. The phone lines are open. Oscar Valdez just had his, uh, his, uh, he just had his voluntary defense a month ago. Oh, Shakur made 1.7? Oh, that's great. So Shakur made 1.7 and Herring made 1.5? Is that what it was? I don't know. But I'm just happy that they're they're really making money now and they deserve it. I'm glad Jamel Herring got that payday. He lives in a small town, like small city, like Ohio or something. So Shakur made oh that's a good payday for Shakur. I didn't know Shakur was making that much right now. Bob said he was making the Valdez Navarrete fight. <laughs> well, that fight will be in StubHub Center. <laughs> Ah, uh, you can't make this shit up, man. You can't make this shit up. But you know, no one's gonna be no one's gonna hold them accountable though. You know, what I mean everyone's just gonna ask questions. You you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna sit back and see if people uh, will uh ask Bob about that. I'm gonna sit back and see because everybody know I will, but for once in my life, I'm not. I'm not, I'm gonna sit back. I'm going to sit back and I'm going to interview Bob. Let's see what we got coming up. I'm going to interview him probably November 21st. Probably the next time I interview him. I like interviewing Bob once a month because I like everything to pile up on me. So maybe November 21st, the day after the Terrence Crawford, Sean Porter fight. You know, me and Bob have breakfast together over the phone or something and and, and powwow it out, you know. So, uh, um, so if, if, if he fights, if Oscar Valdez fights Navarrete, I mean, I told you he's going to become Gary Russell. I mean, it's no doubt in my mind. If if fighters and media didn't come together for Gary Russell, and it's no way they're going to do it for uh, the phone lines are off. Oh, because I got to, damn, my bus, y'all. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you. Now they're ready. They hot now. The lines are hot now. So, oh, you got a new, okay, what's up, Doug? You got a new name? <laughs> oh, man. Congratulations on your good, on your fantastic weekend this weekend, for sure, for sure. Um, your boy, man, you a Shakur Stevenson fan, aren't you? This Hell week, yeah, Fred. this week you Shakur, are. Cool, man. Cool, man. He showed up and showed out, Fred. Uh, I was really, I was really hoping. Jamel Herring, you know, you know, matter of fact, let's give a big shout out to Jamel Herring for giving that kid a chance, man, an opportunity. He could have dropped that belt and went up, went up and wait or retired, but he didn't do that. Mm-hmm. He um he gave him an opportunity, and I respect him a lot for that. For all this, he doesn't get my respect because he's been supposed to fight Shakur Stevenson. 
Um, Valdez didn't even show up at the fight. Mm-hmm. He wasn't at the fight. So I have no confidence that that fight is going to happen. No confidence. I think Shakur should either look to fight Chris Colbert or move up and wait because I don't think he's going to get that Valdez fight. It's ridiculous that Bob Arum, who Shakur's promoter, is talking about a 126-pounder moving up to fight Oscar Valdez. That makes no sense. No, Navarrete should be fighting Shakur Stevenson because he's the WBO champ in 126. It's clear that they're protecting Oscar Valdez. And it makes no sense to me because I feel like Shakur had a bigger crowd for his fight, a more celebrity-studded crowd for his fight than Valdez's fight. Uh, he well, has more potential. He has more potential to me to bring the money than Oscar Valdez. Mm. Mm. Have you ever heard? I, I always see Oscar Valdez with that Gatorade bottle. Hey, does he have a Gatorade deal? He must. He must do. He must do. Maybe in Mexico. Okay. okay. Maybe in Mexico. Okay, Mexico Gatorade deal. Okay, maybe. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, it makes no sense to me to keep banking on this guy because he's friends with Canelo, pals with Canelo, when Shakur is pals with a lot of people like Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence. I mean, big names, huge names. You name it. I mean, it, 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 I, I think he has more potential to bring more of a crowd, especially in that style of fighting. What he did was called power boxing. I think Andre Ward or uh, Bradley brought it up. Mm-hmm. He was power boxing, boxing with aggression, boxing with put it, pushing his will on his opponent mm-hmm. and working the body. And it worked brilliantly. brilliantly. Um, it was, Jamel Hearns not a bad fighter. He's not a great fighter, but he, Shakur made him look like a bad fighter. And that's, a, when you're, that's what special fighters do. They make good champions or decent champions just look bad. And that's what he did. And I've said it before. You get him in with a tough test, a tough opponent, he's going to show up and show out. And that's what he did. And I expect that if they put him in with Navarrete and they put him in with Valdez, it doesn't matter. I think he's going to show up and show out for it. And I think his biggest uh, test, biggest challenges will be at 135 or at 140. And I just want to know what you think. Uh, who will be his biggest challenges at 135? Because I think he's going to move up there soon. Now, after what I saw last night, nobody. Oh, wow. uh, no, I, I think fights are competitive. Like I'm, I'm just being honest. I, I think, wow. I think, uh, I think Tia Fimo is as as good as he's going to be. I think he's kind of maxed out based off of his frame, in terms of like more getting better. I don't think he'll get better. Okay. I, th- I think he still beats uh, good opponents, but great opponents. I think Tank is too short. Uh, I mean, Tank is too little for that fight. It's competitive, but I think in the end. Uh, Tank is too small for Shakur. Uh, what about I, Haney? I think Haney is yeah. at 147, maybe. Maybe because he has a bigger frame. I I, yeah. I think he has a bigger frame than Shakur. But I think at these lower weight classes, I think uh, 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 Shakur Stevenson definitely has a has an advantage. Definitely has. I has think Shakur is a better, more complete fighter than Devin. I think he's more stronger. Yeah, yeah, more definitely. More physical. Mm-hmm. Like I, I saw a couple of times when Hearn tried to clinch Shakur. Shakur was able to um, when it, when he wanted to. I don't know mm-hmm. why he didn't, but I saw a couple of times when he chose to, he got out the clinch and got in some good body shots and whatnot. Devin Haney really struggles when guys clinch him. I noticed that when guys clinch him, he he can't really get out the clinch most times. They're not. So, uh, and, and, think, and, and add on your point, I remember mm-hmm. uh, in the ninth, tenth, or eleventh round of Devin Haney's fight, he was having, he wasn't doing, he wasn't clinching in a technical way. He was just oh, kind of yeah, lunging. Yeah. So I think, so uh, yeah, I, I think he has a, uh, I think in terms of technical skills, I would agree with you that uh, uh, Shakur is ahead of Devin. Yeah. I think Devin, he has better mobility. I think he's more twitchier. I think Devin is a little more twitchier. Like you know, he he can slip punches. I think Shakur will yeah. kind of will kind of catch and take something off and counter. I mean, it's a don't. It is a beautiful fight now. I I I think it's a beautiful Thank fight. You, but at one thirty one at one thirty five, I would give Shakur the advantage. At one forty seven, I would give Devin Haney the advantage. 
mm, that's that's not bad assessment. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's 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 a fair assessment. Mm-hmm. Um, um, for me, I feel like yeah, definitely one thing five. He's going to, in my opinion, I think he's going to have a lot more challenges because those guys are better to match his speed because that her, her couldn't match his speed. That was a huge problem in the fight. He couldn't get off when he wanted. Couldn't time. He couldn't even time score because before he even got a chance to try to time score, score already hit him. Mm-hmm. And he had to cover up because he was going to get hit with three or four pieces. And he still would get hit with them. With guys at 135, they will be able to um, have the reflexes to do something more now. Where they win the fight, that's up to debate, obviously. It's going to be a lot of debates. But that's not a mistake. Jamel Hearn is not Javante Davis or Devin Haney or Chio Fimo. Those guys are younger in their prime, and they're not going to be scared to throw punches back to trade with them. Um, but I like those fights, man. I think Shakur has all the metal, all the, the makeup to, to win those fights. And he's a special fighter from what I saw. You just don't take a champion regardless and just make him look like nothing. We've seen fighters struggle with good, decent fighters. He didn't struggle at all. Mm. He didn't struggle. So, um, uh, Bob, we got, we got to get him back on here and explain this bullshit with him one not directing the fight. Well, this. That makes no fucking sense, man. Now, right there, it's your course you fight. Nah, I mean, if you, I. If, you, if you're not going to get Vardis in there with them, you, them two should fight. Fuck that. Like, no one wants, no one wants to see that shit. You got people saying that we want Vardis versus your course. There's no other fight. Bob is bullshitting again. We need to call Bob out. Bob the bullshit um, is bullshitting again, friend. Well, you are calling you know him out. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're lying. And I'm. I, I and would shout say, out to the reporter. And shout out to the reporter because uh, Blue Blood couldn't say it because you know Blue Blood would have said it. They would. They would have probably banned them or something. But right. shout out to the reporter who said something uh, to uh, to the uh, what's that guy name? That bald guy I don't like at the post fight press conference. What's his name? That smug, smuck, the guy with the glasses uh, that told him about uh, Navarrete, uh Bob uh, wanting to make Navarrete, uh Marvin. Right. Shout out oh. to him for. Having the balls to say that because uh, Stevenson didn't even know about it. He didn't even know, mm. and that's fucking sad, man. But um, yeah, man, it's great fights ahead for that division. Um, I think, um, I, in my opinion, I don't think they're going to ever happen until they get older. But um, that's just my take on that. I don't think those fights with Shakur getting the Haney's. The I don't think those fights will. Haney might that fight might actually happen. I can see Devin Haney fight happening before those fights. TBC and Floyd, they got they wanted to put Tank on the island. Um, Teofimo is I don't know what's, what's going on with him. Bob is his pimp, you know about that. So, I mean, which fight out of all the fights you see for Shakur do you think will happen? The big fights. What is the closest you see actually happening for him? Well, if t- if if Loma loses again, I can see him fighting Loma. Um, oh, you think? Wow. I mean, if he loses to uh, Tiafimo again, I could see that one. Uh, he'll. What if What if Loma wins? What if he beats Tia? Oh shit! Then then you got a rematch. I don't think no a, way. A three, a third fight. Y- yeah, because Tia moves up. Yeah. I well, think moves up. If, if shit. Loma whoops, nah, you ain't moving up when you got that rematch clause. When you got a guaranteed one. It's close to two million dollars. You ain't moving up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tio, You're gonna take that. The longer fight. Tio stays at the weight, the more he diminishes himself and has a higher chance of losing. You've seen fighters like Burchell weight drain himself and you can't take a punch because you, you're killing yourself. Yeah. The longer he stays, the more vulnerable he is. He needs to get that Devin Haney fight and move up. I mean, I don't know. Uh the, I, I think Cambosa has a good chance in my opinion, because he's been struggling with that weight for what, over a whole year. And every time I see him, his face looks gaunt, like very gaunt. I don't know. I already don't trust his chin because Lomachenko ain't no big puncher and he was rocking him. So, but, um, yeah, I don't know how, what Shakur's going to do. I agree with your assessment. You said he's going to be the new Gary Russell. I agree with that 100%. Um, he's got to do what he did against Hearn. You know how he was just basically like playing the, 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 the uh, heel against Hearn? Follow him everywhere. You know, he was in the uh, crab restaurant and shit. Doing all, he needs to do that to everybody else. Who's that? Who are you talking about? Um, uh, Shakur. Wait, remember he oh, was like in videos? Yeah, I remember that. Everywhere. I remember he that. He needs to do that to everyone. I, I think he needs to do that to everyone else. 
if he wants those fights. I think he needs to hurt these guys' pride, go up to these guys' parties, whatever they're at, and just call them out and have it on video and make a clown of them. Sure. I think he needs to do that. More fighters need to start hurting these guys' pride, man. Stop mm-hmm. saying, yeah, I want the fight. Give me the fight. And act like it's going to happen. It's not going to happen. You got to start getting personal. Hurting these guys' feelings. Hurt their pride. It's a fight. They ain't your friends. Fuck it. Why be nice to them? Why say, please, please fight me? You even said it, Fred. Stop chasing these fights. Mm-hmm. And if you're not going to chase it, at least. I say fuck it. I mean, at, at the, I would tell Secura, you ain't, I ain't fighting you. If you don't fight me next, I, I'll give him a grace period, right? Because I know he's young. He's not like, he's not 44 like me. Because I'll just cut it off, you know. Like, I'll just cut the water off. But I, I, I would say, Shakur, if, if you're not fighting me next, forget it. I'm never fighting you. And let him go. Mm. And let him go on that uh, burrito circuit. You know what I mean? Go enjoy your life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but let him. But yeah. I, I, don't, I don't. I just don't get it. Like it's, it's a business. I get it. But what is it? What money is there involved in? It's like he only bought what, a crowd of four thousand. Man, listen. Five thousand five hundred. Shakur bought over five thousand in the State Farm Arena with so that's Kanye a, West. So that's and, one third. Uh, the Migos. That's one third and full. Michael B. Jordan. That's one third full, right? Because it's probably it's a basketball yeah. arena, so it's probably seventeen thousand people that can get in there. So he didn't sell it out. So he's... yeah, he, of course he yeah, Shakur ain't did yet. I mean, he needs the names first. He mm-hmm. got to get more performances like he did uh, last night in the names, and I think he can do it, but. The problem is you got Bob Irm who who's in your corner hurting hurting your chances with that happening because he's yep. banking on the Mexican community uh, money, which I don't understand in my opinion because Vardy sold four thousand five hundred. Like, what was the ticket? Yeah, but the but but look at the opponent. The opponent only cost twenty thousand dollars, so ten thousand dollars. <laughs> so you win. No, I'm being dead ass. Like, whereas you got one point seven, one point five. That's three point two. You got to cover. Minimal, you know, oh, I, so I get it, that's why the undercard looked, that's why the undercard looked like that. You know, you got Xavier and uh Nikolai Walsh. I mean, whatever is a lot. Uh, what, what's the name? Somebody Man. called him, somebody yes. called him the casual, the cat, the Caucasian clay, Caucasian Cassius clay, or something like that. I was like, the fuck? That's uh, funny. Get off the phone, you know, man. Get off the phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me get my shout out though. Mm-hmm. But, uh, shout out, uh. Devin Haney, man, hey, kick JoJo Diaz ass, man. Put on a great show for us. Deontay Wilder, get well soon. Get these good fights with AJ and um, Ruiz and Us again. And, of course, Shakur Stevens, man. We proud of you. That was a hell of a performance. You look great. You did your job, man. I hope you get the Vardis fight. If not, you got to move up. Put pressure on these guys. Do what you did to her to everybody else. Do what you did to her to everybody else. And, of course, Earl Spence, man. Um kick Uga's ass, man. He's crying and shit. Get him out the way. Retire him. That's my call. Thank you, dog. What's up, Delonte? Say, Fred, I support Jersey, so I'm Shakur Bias. No one in that division can see him. Yeah, no one, but he got, yeah, he got to get that money. He got to substantiate himself there. You know, he can literally become a Hall of Famer in that division. You know, he got, uh, if Navrat, I'm just hypothetically speaking, right? If Navate, the other guy from Brooklyn, What's the black guy's name? Chris Colbert, um, Oscar Valdez, Navate, and and maybe he get Gary Russell on the back end. You know, he he puts himself in the Hall of Fame in one division. Hey, say Fred, where that bum from Texas that's scared to cut his camera on? Is that your people? You talking about eight one seven, man? Yeah, he cool, man. He cool, man. He cool. He cool. Hey, he's cool. Yeah, the hottest show on Sunday night. You better tell them, Travis. You already know, man. This the this this where you need to be, man. Shit. You know what I mean? We got crowd, we got crowd participation. <laughs> Caucasian clay. That shit is funny, dog. That, that's funny. Hey, whoever made that whoever made that up on the internet, you're funny. You're funny as hell. That that was clever. Caucasian clay. <laughs> that's funny. Oh man. You gotta hold him in. Hey, what's up? Say, Fred, what's going on? Hey, not much. What you got? I'm chilling, man. Shout out, hey, to everybody in the channel. Go purchase nine wives. Yeah, yeah, thank you. For five dollars, that's just a Big Mac. 
for you fat motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, Fred, though. I thought Shakur dog walked Heron. Like, honestly, everybody talking about Shakur. I'm trying to figure out what should Heron do? Because he got the dog shit beat out of him. You know, for part of the for part of the fight. What should Heron do? I think Heron should fight. He, that's at 130, right? He should fight Narate's come up fight. Transition fight. Mm, yeah, that's a good move. Or if he's going to move up 135? Uh, I don't know. Off of what I've seen, the move up is probably dangerous for him, Fred. I mean, shit. I, I mean, I, I, I wish him well. Tell, yeah, him buy, tell him to go buy a farm, you know, so he get generational wealth or something. Yeah, that type, that 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 part. Take yeah, he, that money and yeah, make it do something for you. Yeah, flip it. I don't, I don't. I, I think he's done. I think he's done. Like for real, for real. I don't know if he can do commentating because he's kind of, uh, he got got trauma up top a little bit. You know, you can see how he pauses and stuff. I don't yeah. know if he can do commentating, but if he can do commentating, if he can handle that, if he can leverage that, I think he has the temperament to be like a good media guy. You know, I don't know if he can get it out, though. You get what I'm saying? So um, we'll see. Hey, Fred, let me ask you this. I thought Heron might have hurt. You know, did, did you watch Did you watch the fight from round one on? Yeah, I did. I watched the whole fight. I thought Heron might have hurt Shakur. It was either like the fourth or fifth round. Fifth round. I thought the fifth round. I thought he hit him with an uppercut or something. Something. He hit him with something in it, and it backed him off him. And I'm like, you know, the whole time I'm watching the fight, I'm like, all right. Heron trying to use his generalship. He trying to drag Shakur to the deep rounds. That's what I thought, too. But but once we got into the deep rounds, and he was just teeing off, I'm like, man. Mm. I don't know. I didn't watch none of the buildup. But because I pay for ESPN Plus, mm -hmm. and I know Shakur from Newark, I'm from Jersey, so I'm I'm going to support. Apparently, them brothers had some type of history. But because it was for free for me, I watched it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Heron didn't have nothing for him. Nothing. He had nothing for him. Mm -mm. And honestly, looking at the fight. I guess Heron's best chance to win was to drag him into the deep rounds. But inside the clinch, it looked like Shakur was taking a break inside the clinch. So Heron dragging him into the deep rounds wasn't going to help him because he he still had he still had the stamina, you know? Yeah, he, he definitely did. I, I, I just, at the end of the day, I just think Shakur just was three levels above him. You know, nothing, nothing Herring could have done. There's nothing Herring could have done besides land a straight left hand, you know, off a counter shot, maybe. You know what I mean? To man, he, he was just outclassed, man. He was super duply out. Yeah, it was bad, man. He was he was cut off above one eye. He had swelling happening on the other eye. And that was like probably from like the third round. I'm like, yo, this kid. This kid from Newark, shout out to Brick City one time. This kid from Newark was just teeing off on him. I think that uh, Shakur is could be a generational talent. I think he could be. I don't. I. 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 I it's rare you've seen that. I've. I think Jamel Herring got everything out out of himself he possibly could have. He got a million. He got a million dollar payday. I I never would have thought he would make a million dollars. You know, after what I saw on PBC. You know. Yeah. You know, he. I mean, I'm a, respectfully. He just wasn't that good. I'm gonna agree with you though. I think I think Shakur is a generational talent, and probably by by round six, I started looking at him that way. Mm -hmm. You know, because after after uh, round five, when I felt like Shakur got hurt, mm -hmm. the minute I saw Shakur take the take his foot off the gas, 
I was like, oh, shit, okay, we seeing some veteranship here already, and he's so young. Right. You know, so really, I think he's the boogeyman of, like, that division and the and the division up. They Bob Arum ain't gonna ain't gonna ain't gonna schedule that Valdez fight for some odd reason. I mean, you should just push him over. Just give him the rub. You know, this is what happens in combat sports. Nah, but he won't have that West Coast market. No, Rate don't speak English. Oscar yeah. Valdez does. He's connected to Canelo. He'll be yeah. at you know, it's 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 so much it's so much more than meets the eye, you know, as it pertains to Oscar Valdez. Yeah. So, so uh Fred, I did my homework. I told mm -hmm. you last time we spoke, I, you said you had an interview Gary Russell. Uh-huh. So I went and I, I went and I did my homework. Uh-huh. Fred, I don't know, man. What? How do you feel about Gary Russell? And and this Terrence Crawford thing. Oh, that that I think that's old news. I I I think he did a great job at bringing that up to um to to get traction. And at that time of that interview, that was the hottest story for like a month. Right. He squeezed all the juice out of it. Yeah, he squeezed all. He definitely got everything he needed to get out of that. He did. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, there's no way he can see Terrence Crawford. <laughs> You I mean, know, part of me aligns with Terrence Crawford's side of the story. Well, I mean, Crawford would be the favorite, you know, in a real fight, in a real boxing match. Crawford would be, what, a four-to-one favorite? You know, if he's a four-to-one favorite against Sean Porter, he would probably be a six-to-one favorite against Gary Russell, right? Seven-to-one favorite, so. Yeah. Yeah. I did like seeing uh, Terrence Crawford all over the place on that fight night. Mm-hmm. I did like seeing that. That's good promo for their fight. I think he's gonna beat the shit out of Sean, though. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, told you, I told you, Sean. Sean's remote control car gonna run out of battery juice. Like it's 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 not gonna be it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna. I what I saw last night. I think it's gonna Sean gonna look old in there. I think so. I, I, man, Sean can't win that fight, dog. Like it's, there's no way Sean can win that fight. No way he can win the fight. There's man. no way. No way he can win that fight, dog. Like from the corner to actually in the ring, like, like it's it's just the uh if if we take if we strip our emotions from this fight and, and we just base it off of off of what we see and what we actually know, the porters don't win championship rounds. As simple as that. Like, and 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 when you put it in that context, do you think they can win championship rounds when one corner has three trainers and the other corner has one trainer, you know, and, and that one trainer has been doing the same thing over and over again. That's called insanity. So uh, I, I think that, no, I'm, I'm just being honest. If I'm a better man, I'm, I, 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 I would have loved for Sean Porter fans to get that bet, to get that betting line around 225. I will put $2,225 on Crawford to win a thousand. I would, but I'm not betting four thousand to win a thousand. Hell no, Fred. Mm -hmm. If I'm being real, I don't, I don't know where these Sean Porter fans are. Do they exist? You know, he talked a lot of shit. Like, you know, he told Earl that he was bringing a certain amount of fandom to their fight, but like, what, where? No, I don't come across nobody that knows Sean Porter. Nah, Sean got fans, dog. Sean do it. Of the strength of what? Did he play a fan? Did he play a sport other than boxing? He played football. I mean, I'm pretty sure he got fans. Fred, you played basketball. I didn't know you played ball. Yeah, I'm a friend of you. I'm a fan of your YouTube. I don't know shit about your. No, I don't know. I don't play basketball. That's old news. But uh, I think Sean is just Sean is a great opponent, man. And I think we just got to accept it for what he is. He He's a gatekeeper, Fred. <sighs> After Terrence Crawford, he'll be a gatekeeper. He a gatekeeper now. Yeah, he's a gatekeeper. Now. He's a gatekeeper now. Yeah, he's, you a gatekeeper. Know? he's just a. He's just a. You know, he just wins silver medals. You know, and and people give him credit for it. And there's nothing wrong with that. He make he can make a lot of money doing that. You know, Burger King does. It. Coffee Bean does it. You know, he's he's he made can. a lot. Of money. He's parlayed that, and it worked out for him. You know, 
I uh, mean, one thing Sean Porter is going to do is for sure he's going to apply a lot of pressure. He's going to make Terrence uncomfortable. I do, I do, yeah. I do foresee that. Yeah, but Terrence going to hit him with them jabs. <laughs> like, man. <laughs> man, he going to hit, he going to, man. Kenny Porter is going to say, you got to change the tempo of the fight. You got to change the tempo of the fight, you know, and but it's hard to change the tempo of the fight when the guy is a master at distance, you know? So, um, I'm real interested in that fight. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I mean, we got a good month of boxing ahead of us, man. We got, we got preparation fights, big fights, preparation fights, big fights, preparation fights, big fight all the way to the end of the year, which is awesome. So, um, boxing is in a, uh, boxing's in a good space, man. Deontay Wilder, started it off and i think it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna end well for boxing fans fred you see did you see that um al oh. Heyman, roley gervonta davis that's a bullshit fight yo hey. al, al Heyman is 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 you know i don't know what's up with him bro why are you trying to sell us as if roley is legit competition for gervonta <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> I ain't gonna be like, hey, 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 uh, the thing is filling up, so I can't talk to y'all niggas as long tonight because it's full. Right. But, but I will say this what was going through tank? I mean, what was going through Floyd's mind promoting, uh, promoting, uh, Roley for real? Floyd is an all time great and he's promoting Roley on pay per view, dog. He only got 14 fights and he ain't fought nobody. Uh. Against Tank Davis, and then and then they trying to sell it as if <sighs> as if there's opportunity for him to put Gervonta to sleep. Like, shut up. Man. Yeah, you're right. This fight isn't going the distance because Tank is going to find him. Man, Tank go. Man, I saw Tank spar. Tank, man, man. I wish y'all understood how good Tank is, man. I seen it with my own eyes, dog. I saw it. I was in Vegas. He invited me to the sparring, and I saw it with my own eyes. Tank is for real, man. I saw it. Yeah, he's legit. Tank, man, Tank can cut the ring off. He can jab. He's just short. And and maybe if you get a taller fighter that's great at distance, you know, maybe a man like Shakur Stevenson, you know, outside of Shakur Stevenson, I – I, I think in a lower weight class, I think Tank has an advantage. I think when Tank goes up to 140, I think he puts himself in danger, you know, so. So, Fred, but when I watched that interview you had with um, Gary Russell, Gary was talking like he like he would have some smoke. Say it again. Tank. Oh, yeah, he, he wants that fight. Yeah, but based off of what you saw with his sparring, you think he really want that smoke? Yeah, you want that song. All right, man. Say, Fred, I appreciate you beaming me up. Right. Hopefully, that dude from Texas don't pop back up. Oh, he he, he oh he's queued up. He's in here. Is he's he, here. Fred? Yeah. I might have to come back in. Why? I like Fred? I don't like that dude. That dude talk a lot of crazy shit. Well, we supposed to? It's the barbershop. Supposed to. Have right. fun, man. We have fun for two and a half hours, man. We, man, we we forget all our pains and struggles and strife when we in here. You're right. We hey, Fred, my broke ass will be in your super chat, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 I ain't going to lie to y'all. Can I tell y'all the truth for real, for real? By, uh, what's up, DJ? Speaking of a broke ass boxing fan, what's up, DJ? Wow. That's what type of time we on tonight, Fred? I was, I was giving you a compliment. Like, speaking oh, of broke ass boxing fan, like you actually. Man, I ain't, I, I ain't got it. I'm okay. fucking with you, man. Oh, okay, okay, with you. okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, so being at the fight last hey, night, first bro. Of all, first of all, first of all, is Kyle crying in his car right now? Nah. He's not? Nah. Why not? Nah, man. He'll, 49ers he'll be out. off. The 49ers huh? got Molly. The 49ers got Molly Wap. If anything, if anything, he's crying about uh not being able to find no food last night after the fight, man. That was really? just crazy. But I'm going to say this, man, being in the building last night. Okay. Xander Zayas is a star. He is? <laughs> man, he brought Puerto Rico with him. I mean, it was Puerto Rican flags everywhere in that crowd like we were at a soccer game. Oh, they caught the bus from New York? 
He's, man, from and clearly uh they some people called the bus from Newark because Newark was in there heavy last night, man. It was it was crazy. Damn, that's dope. Uh Troy Isley got a nice pop, man. Um, and even uh Evan Holyfield got a nice pop last night, man. Hmm. Dad kid is gonna be special. Is he? Yes, yes, he's got he's my opinion. Now, this might be just you know being a prisoner of the moment or whatever, but He's got his frame and the way he throws punches and how I saw I called it, man, from the time he walked to the ring until the knockout happened. I was like, oh, he's going to knock this dude out. I could see how loose he was just coming to the ring and in the corner when they were uh, announcing his name. He was just so loose, man, and he's so tall for that division. Like, he's taller than me. What weight did he fight at? 154. Oh, yeah, but he said uh he said on Tay Jones' show that he's not a true 154 and he weighed in at 152. Mm, mm. So he may go down to 50 uh 47 or stay at 54. It all depends, man. But yeah, man, he's uh he's legit, dog. He's legit. He's uh he's got that 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 Tommy Hearns type frame to him and the way he throws punches so loose. And the power that he has, Bob, and just the way everything flows with him. You, you know what I'm saying? Nothing's tight. All his combinations just kind of flow. But Xander Zayas, man, Xander Zayas is the real deal. Mm. I'll say that too. And Nico Ali Walsh's power is legit. Okay. I'll I'll uh I'll be looking forward to seeing what he has coming going forward with uh with Sugar Hill in his corner. He needs a lot more seasoning, he needs to work on his defense a little bit, but Kid's got the goods, man. His power is legit. Like when the shots that he was hitting that kid with last night, I'm not surprised the corner stopped it. <laughs> not at all. But uh, I was saying leading up to that fight, man, Shakur's gonna put on a show. This is gonna be his coming out party. He's gonna style on Jamel Heron, and that's exactly what happened last night. What happens, what happens next with Jamel Heron is if he decides to continue, I think he should move up. And fight like a Fortuna or somebody okay. like that, okay. or or a Kome after Loma washes Kome in December, he can fight a Kome. You know what I'm saying? Get one more win before he retires. But you know, as far as that man, that was a star-studded event last night, man. I wish I wish uh, Bob would have reserved more of the arena. Maybe it would have sold out. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, man. He, he had the first bowl, huh? He only had the first bowl. Yeah, he only had like half. Yeah, he didn't have the upper level at yeah, all. So I, I could tell. I could tell. Yeah, man. If he would have reserved more of the arena, man, maybe it would have sold out. But it was, mm. you know, it was still a good event, man. Had a lot of people in there. Had a yeah. had a nice little crowd in there, man. But yeah, so as much. far as like um the Gary Russell situation, right? And um and uh you saying Al Heyman protecting these fighters. From what I've seen with Al Heyman, if both fighters want to fight, the fight happens. Like we just had an undisputed fight in uh for at junior middleweight. Right. He made the Sean and, and uh Arrow fight happen. He made the Errol and Danny fight happen. Right. The Tyson Fury, and even though it took it took some teeth pulling, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder happened. Right. Uh what other fight happened, man? It was another big fight that he made. A lot of big fights that he's made, man. It only happens if both fighters want the fight. I don't think Santa Cruz and Frampton wanted to fight Gary Russell. That's why that fight didn't happen. And as a promoter, we've seen, even with Bob Arum these past few months, T.O. didn't want to give Lomachenko a rematch, even though I feel like that's what Bob Arum wanted. That's why that fight hadn't happened yet. I don't think these pro promoters can necessarily make these guys fight. It ain't like Dana White. Well, Dana White is the sole promoter over all these fighters. Like, you know, and it's just one. Uh, they don't have sanctioning bodies, so they can't go another route. It's like you're the champion. He's the number one contender. You're going to fight him or we're going to strip you. That just is what it is. I don't think I don't think they I don't think they necessarily wanted to fight Gary Russell. I think that's why those fight didn't happen. I don't think it's. But they didn't even fight them past a past the expiration date neither. So, so I thought yeah. that was kind of weird too. Yeah, man. Yeah, but you but don't. I, I, hate, I hate that for I hate that for Gary, man. I really do. Yeah, but. man. And, and but it's it's gonna keep on happening. Uh, let me get the super chat present, y'all. For it, thank you, Floyd, protecting both Roly and Tank from Devin by making that BS fight. Man, that fight is such a. Yeah, that fight is trash, man. I I will happily stream that fight. Trash. Uh, Tank, see, this is what aggravates me, right? 
Mm-hmm. And I think this what this is, I think this is a keep busy fight for Tank until Josh Taylor releases those belts. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And since Josh Taylor just got injured and his fight is being postponed until what I'm hearing is February, mm. that holds up a lot of things. That's why I think the T.O. and Devin fight really gets made in April or May because I think T.O. is trying to hold out and wait on uh, Josh Taylor. I think he was going to try to go after Josh Taylor. Well, Josh Taylor's not fighting in February now, so what are you going to do, wait until you know June or July to fight him? Even though I think he's moving up to 47 anyway after his next fight. Um, because he he really believes he wants Bud Crawford. Speaking of Bud Crawford, he's bigger than I thought he was, Fred. Yeah, he's yeah, he is. Yeah, he's yeah. bigger than I saw him up close last night. He's bigger thing. than I thought he was, man. I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing. Yeah, yeah, man. I hadn't seen Errol in person, but just looking at them on camera, like how they were looking eye to eye. And everybody who's saying Bud's lighting the ass was like, uh, Bud was a state championship wrestler in Nebraska, dog, where they do that shit. So Bud ain't ain't little. He ain't, he ain't weak now, but he's a lot bigger than I thought he was, man. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> that's just ran into Bernie the boxer, too. He's an uh, interesting individual. Nah, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> But anywho, man, I ain't going to spend too much more time on him, man. It's just, it was a great event last night. Uh, Bob Aaron put on a great card. I got to give credit where credit is due. Uh, he showcased a lot of his young talent last night. Uh, but I came I came out of that fight knowing, I knew who Shakur was already. I felt like, I just felt like the world didn't know. But Evan Holyfield and uh, Xander Zayas, they really impressed me last night. They really did, man. I look forward to the to the rest of their careers, man. But uh, that's it for me, Fred. I'm going to get off of here. No, nah, I appreciate you. Yes, sir. All right, one. Mr. Henderson, it's a Tesla. Tesla, man, Tesla. It's, it's the X model. X model. What's up, Deke? How you feel, man? How you feel? Hey, man, too blessed to be stressed and highly favored. What's good with you, my good brother? I'm great, man. What you got? How, where you been? Hey, I had to take a break for a minute. <laughs> okay. yeah man uh just want to give a, a couple of shout outs real quick yeah. uh want to shout out uh to the good brother db mm-hmm. uh reggie orange brandy uh brandon washington and my good brother uh flat out tv another good brother unique don love is the word all of the queens uh salute to you uh patricia shelton and uh, yes, I miss the family. I'm always praying, always thinking of all of y'all. Now, great fight, man. Great fight from this young brother. Um, did not know that he was going to bring out the dog like that. I, I was looking at, uh, I was in, uh, I was rather thinking that he was going to box the socks off, dude. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and just, just go in there and just don't get touched at all. And, he flipped the script. This man won every round. I disagree that he got hurt. He got hit with a couple of good shots here and there. He showed that he's very sturdy with his chin. Um, all that's good signs. Uh, I like that. He was never wobbled, wobbled where he's like hurt. No, no. He got popped with a good shot. He took it very well. And when he got hit with that good shot, guess what he did? Went right back in his chest, digging him up. You know what I'm saying? I like what I seen. I loved what I seen. And this is why Floyd Mayweather and his daughter was so angry with Shakur, right? Because Floyd really wanted to sign this kid, but the kid wasn't having it. You know what I'm saying? You know, with all your money and accolades, you just can't get everything you want all the time. <laughs> this kid got his, he had his mind made up. Although, you know, some people may feel that Bob and and Andre Ward wasn't a good fit for him or whatever. He he made his own path. You know what I'm saying? You got to respect it and see where it's going to take him. You know, uh, Bob does have a, a good track record of building young talent, you know, and getting them exposed in the right way. You know, uh, what goes on behind the scenes with how they are getting paid. Guess what? I'm a fan. That's not my business what to get paid. I, when I pop on the tube and watch these guys, that's what I want to see. Performance. What you get paid on the other end of that ain't my business, you know. Um, but great fight, man. 
And um, shout out to Deontay Wilder. Happy birthday, champ. Belated birthday. Uh, wish that could have told it to you in person or uh, on the phone or whatever. But you can hear me now, I guess. I love you, brother. And uh, happy birthday and God bless you and your family. You put on a hell of a show, man. You you, you perform well. And, um, you know, don't worry about people talking about uh, you should have shook hands and and all, man, listen, we just got out of the heat of battle. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and the battle goes on outside the ring into a courtroom or what have you or whatever. There's a lot of things going on that people don't understand. So, you know, whatever's going on, brother, I pray that all is well. You know what I mean? I don't hold it against you. It's been plenty of times. I, he, I, any one of us done had uh, heated moments. You know what I'm saying? And some of those moments where we wasn't busting each other in the mouth and we was not willing to shake that other person's hand. It was just a verbal conversation where it was heated. And I'm not finna shake your hand. Not right now, maybe later on, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause I do not walk around, uh, you know, holding grudges. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I get over stuff pretty quick. Cause I, 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 again, I'm a faithful man. And I'm not gonna let nobody send me to hell. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, it, it, it just was a, uh, I, I've been seeing some great fights, man. I just wish my guy could have won. Uh, you know, uh, we got we 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 can sit down and say this, that, and the third. I seen the videos about the the clock and all that. You know, if if, if my homie ain't complaining about it, and I, me comp complaining about it ain't gonna get nothing done. You know, we just looking forward to him to, to, to uh, have his hand raised again in the near future and be uh, crowned uh, champion again. He has everything. Um, to get it done, I have no doubt that he'll be champion again. And and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna predict this. Not only will he be champion again, he will be undisputed at heavyweight. I guarantee you this. I'm telling you, I see it. He will wind up being one face, one name. See, because know this, family. Know this. No matter what you're going through in life. God give us all test. You cannot ask God for something and think that you're going to get it without being tested. You got to go through trials and tribulations. You know what I mean? So so him not winning the fight is not a failure. It's not God not answering prayers or not doing that. No, you got to go through death in order to reach the promised land, baby. You got to go through death. So what that say? That is saying that we got to go through things that it's going. We're going to be uncomfortable. People have some. Sometimes, sometimes you're going to be embarrassed. Sometimes you're going. To, you're going. To, sometimes people lose their lives, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, even like when I was mentioning uh, a while back, when my baby passed, in the moment, I I, I I couldn't process that. You know what I'm saying? But I never once blamed God. I never once complained in a way that God failed me. No, no. See, I know that God knows better than me. The human, the human, we as humans, we only use 10 percent of our brain. So that leaves another 90 percent of your brain unused. Guess who created you? That's show you how great God is. How great is God? You see what I'm saying? We can't even comprehend on the level of God. See, we plan, but God is the best of planners. So know this. Our, our champion is coming back and he will be one face, one name. And that's Deontay Wilder, the heavyweight king of boxing. And, and, and I have no doubt. I know I was a little long-winded. Hey, man, I miss y'all. You know, I had to get it in. Love you, bro. <laughs> and, uh, you know, good to see you, brother. You hear me? All right. Be well. Appreciate you, dog. Absolutely. Love and peace. All right. All the time, man. Thank you. Yes, yes, sir. Peace. Kai, so we already created a narrative for Bud saying Porter is a gatekeeper. Give him the same credit you gave EJ going 12. I, actually... I thought EJ was going to wash him. I'll be honest. I, I thought EJ was. Um, Man, you got to win. Man, stop giving people credit for going 12. Man, you got to win these fights, dog. Come on, man.
come on, man. You got to win these fights, man, until he wins a big one. You know, so Bud, Super Chats don't get read. What? I got you. I missed one. Or was it the other one? Oh, no, that's what you're talking about. No, I, I read every Super Chat, man. Nah. But I can't read it when someone's talking, so I just leave it up until I get an opportunity. What's up, 817? What's going on, Fred? Hey, man, say, man, what's going down? I'm feeling good, man. What you got? Say, man, a uh, few things, bro. Uh, <laughs> say, man, Shakur caught a lot of flack, man. A lot of bullshit flack, bro. Right. Well, right. So check this out, Fred. Mm -hmm. Let's keep to the book. You know, when you work in the workplace with some people, some people, you know, you ride or die. Some people you fuck with every day. You know, you're going to catch them in the break room. You're going to stop before you get to your desk or to your workstation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's some people at the job you just fuck with like that. Then there's some people at the job you just work with. You know what I'm saying? And, and and then when you have the events or whatever, they bring their family, you speak to their kids, you know what I'm saying? You're respectful, but you really just work with them. Offer. You, you know what I'm saying? They ain't your partner, partner. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So in terms of that, I want to talk about Shakur real quick. Uh, and this Jameer Heron build up to the fight. You know, he was catching a lot of flack for Was he? Oh, man, say, bro. Acting out of quote-unquote character. You know what I'm saying? Because... Uh. You know, the perception of Shakur when you look at him is what? He or what? A kid. Yeah, yeah he reminds me of my son. Yeah, he Right, right. Lincoln. It's like, I seen you and Lincoln and Kennedy sitting together watching the fight. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, I, and when I seen it, that's the same thing I said. Little Shakur Stevenson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looked like Shakur a little bit. So man, It's going to be hard to get me going to a fight, man. Hey, I'm enjoying watching fight with my kid because I get to raise him falling in love with boxing, you know? Facts, and I seen y'all kick back, and they look like they was enjoying themselves. Yeah. They weren't running around, yeah. preoccupied with other stuff, so that was dope. Yeah. But in saying that, just like you said, you know, you see your son in Lincoln. You know what I'm saying? When you look, you see that smile, mm -hmm. you know, you see the uh, the demeanor, you know, and him being diminutive or a smaller guy, and mm -hmm. that's the first thing that comes to mind. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, but the boy got a mean streak. If you ain't been following him or whatever, or actually, you know, paid attention to him in the ring, the boy got a mean streak. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That pretty boy Floyd mean streak. I think that's why Mark Kriegel came out and said that shit. Mm -hmm. You know, because we see some fighters, just like you said, Fred, you just said a second ago, don't give a motherfucking credit for going 12 rounds. You know, you got to go in there and win these fights, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, Sh Shakur seems to fight with that temperament uh, that, you know, he want to get you out of there. He want to hurt you, you know. Uh, with Nak Nakatilia, I, I really think he was awkward. Uh, he wasn't anybody that he was aware of, you know what I'm saying, as far as saying this nigga from after, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, okay, maybe it's just another name, you know what I'm saying? And I think the African was big, strong, and awkward, and it was something he hadn't seen before. But Shakur, being as talented as he was, you know, made it look easy, even though it was difficult. It was boring, but he got out of there with the thug. You feel what I'm saying? Wow. And that's just how talented he is. As far as him being with top rank in the promotion, you know, I heard a lot of it was quiet in there. And he boring and he don't sell a lot of tickets or whatever. But just like DJ said, I mean, you know, somebody was in the venue and what did he say? Hey, man, I wish Bob would have reserved more seats. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's different facets to the game that, you know, us as fans, we don't know. You know, mm -hmm. like Deacon, salute to the Deacon 305. You know what I'm saying? But Deacon say, hey, man, what you get paid? You know, I ain't worried about it. I'm turning on TV to see you fight. Facts, mm -hmm. right? But, you know, the shit that you talk about as far as the money, it plays a part in everything for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I think um, just me personally, when it came to signing with Floyd and all of that shit, when Shakur came out of the Olympics, I think somebody got in his ear and said, if you want somebody standing over you all the time, boosting their fame off of you, then go ahead and sign with his ass. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to make a name for yourself, then make your own decision. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I actually and think if, if you're if you're a top prospect, I don't think PBC is the place for you. I, I, hey, and I was just about to touch on that, Fred, at his weight, at his weight, okay? I'm solely going to talk about at his weight and what's on the roster. At his weight, I feel like Shakur looked at it and felt like I'd have more variety of competition 
and Styles at this point going with top rank. I don't, you know, I know the promotion is shitty over at top rank. You know what I'm saying? Bob's going to do as least as he can to get as much as he can. That's just his game. Mm -hmm. But as far as the versatility of the fighters, the frequency of them fighting or whatever, top rank or whatever, and at those weights, I think he looked at it and said, career-wise, this might be a better move for me now. But, you know, allow myself to be freed up in the future. I don't know what the rest of his contract looked like for it. So I don't want to speak too far on it. But I'm just saying at the lower weights, it seems to me top rank has the better fighters at the lower weights. You know, and generally it's a bunch of them, you know, foreigners and Mexicans and shit at mm -hmm. the lower weights. Um, but yeah, man, he caught a lot of a lot of flack for making up, you know what I'm saying, some shit for him to be angry about for the fight. You did? I, 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 I didn't know that. On different platforms. On oh, different Oh, I actually didn't know that. I thought I thought maybe he needed that to fight him. I, I, I knew that he needed that to fight him because, again, they work in the same space. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking he was manufacturing it. I, I didn't think it was like, like, uh, like, I would say I, I, I thought he created that. Like right. He created it so he can actually get into the ring and fight him. Right. And... and 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 you got to fight anyway. So I mean, like, at right. the end of the day, you can say any goddamn thing you want. Uh, what Mike Tyson say? Shit. Everybody got to play it till they get hit. No, no, but no. Uh, he, had um, quote. he said. Uh, he said. Someone said. He says. Shit. It don't matter. We got to because someone said something disrespectful. Or he said something. He said. Don't matter. We got to fight anyway. Damn right. You know. So yeah, we gonna see about that. Yeah. Facts. Uh, so. Um. So yeah. Michael Jordan used to do that too. Michael Jordan did it too. Like he was, he Kobe Bryant did it too. He made up things, right? You know, right. like and I mean, with them working in the same space, families been around each other, whatever. You know, this is business, and it's the business of boxing. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And if you got a competitive spirit, you know how it is amongst your partners, Fred. Yeah, and and then he knew Jamel Hearing was a kind, was like has has a kindred spirit. So he, he maybe he played upon that. I don't know. Right. Like, I see him. I'll ask him. You know, if I ever right. see him again. But uh, I, 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 I think that uh, uh, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. I can tell he was over the top. I can totally tell he was going over the top. But I just, I maybe they were too close, and he had he had to really cut him off because he kind of cut. He took shots at Crawford too. Oh yeah, he did. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Fred. Thank mm -hmm. you for paying attention, bro. Mm -hmm. When he told them, "Hey, Bo, man, I'll do this to your entire stable." I was talking to Crawford. Hell yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. And see, everybody want to gloss over that. Everybody want to gloss over the fact that Bo Mac felt like he had Shakur number. And what did he say? Hey, man, he a crybaby. When it gets tough, he ain't gonna. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he was going to talk shit back and forth to Bo Mack at the press conference. Jamel was never going to be the person to talk shit anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, he just ain't that dude. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't blame Shakur for manufacturing whatever he needed to get in there to do what the hell he needed to do. Jamel's wife needed to be a wife and sit on the side and comfort her husband. I ain't mad at her for standing up for him. But back the fuck up. This grown man in here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Your husband signed up to fight. Friends and all of that shit go to the wayside. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm, I, I mean, with that being said, I'm interested to see how uh, how he uh, how he moves forward. Like, will he be will he be happy with promoting like this? Or you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm interested to see Facts. Facts. who he becomes now and how he manufactures this. I didn't think it was real. I, 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 not no part of me thought what he was saying was real. I knew he was gonna be friends with them. And see, that's my that's that's I, why I, I love it. fighters like Deontay. I love fighters like Earl. I love fighters like Adrian. No matter what y'all say about them, because at the end of the day, no matter what it is, they gonna tell you what it is. Shakur mm -hmm. told you what it was, but he PC told you what it was. You feel me? Mm -hmm. At the end, he said, "Jamel, I'm not mad at you." I, you know what I'm saying? And and, and it and it made everything that he did. It, it made it made it look fraud, but he had but he felt like he had to do that because all the pressure that people were putting on him 
from the quote unquote image that they want to put on the young man in the first place from his little boyish face and his smile. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. All these things work in correlation with each other, you know, as far as people making up um, an, an idea or, or perception of a person. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and I'm I, just, you know, go ahead. No, it's funny because I didn't even hear none of that. I, I didn't hear people saying that uh, he was going over the top. I, I thought he was pushing yeah. buttons, you know. Facts. Uh, I don't uh, think it's any worse than any other any other box or fight that we've seen him touching the belt or, uh, you know, the few stalking hymns and I'm going to take your belt and I'm going to whoop your ass. Man, that's standard. That was standard boxing shit. And I think really, you know, it's because of who Shakur is and what he looked like. People like, you don't okay. expect that shit to come out of him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it was for it was for a purpose. And check this out. All the shit he talked or whatever. If it sold 50 more tickets, Fred, if it sold 50 more tickets, then it put more money in Jamel's pocket and in his family pocket. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Even though he got, he's sitting at home, eyes busted up, you ain't lost some shit. He, he, Shakur, all the shit he talked, he helped feed the family. Now, I, I'm, I'm my man, I'm my man tonight, bro. I'm chilling on the fact that, you know, I don't want to give, I don't want to give suckers no clout. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want to give, I don't, I don't give suckers no motherfucking clout. You feel what I'm saying? I, I ain't in my goddamn garage. I'm speaking as loud as I motherfucking want to. And check it out. I show my motherfucking face too. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm I'm always my man of my brother. You know what I'm saying? When you smart and when you two, three steps ahead on motherfucker, you ain't really worried about that shit. You can see that shit coming, kind of like Shakur. But I'm a I'm a tip out. But I'm gonna say this, Fred. Uh, who guys getting fucked over? You know what I'm saying? Big time. Big time. <laughs> Hey, uh, yeah, I feel bad for that kid, man. Yeah, I, I feel I feel bad for Ugas. I feel like Ugas uh, is worthy of a fight. I feel like uh, I don't know if I don't know if it's so much the networks uh, don't believe that Ugas can sell. I, I really don't know what it is, but I just know it's wrong, Fred. I just know it's wrong. I know he came in there and did some shit he wasn't supposed to by beating Manny Pacquiao and upset the apple cart and the bag that they was looking at. And uh, it's fucked up that he going to have to go through some more shit to try to, you know, to try to finally get some validation. Because at the end of the day, Earl still going to whoop his ass. <laughs> so it don't matter. But I still want to see him get the respect that he that he deserved. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, I'm hey, my man, uh, knockout touched on something earlier, and I want to leave with it. If if it's so important for Canelo to uh unify at 160, you know, cross Titulos and all that, shit, you know what I'm saying? Then, and for the WBA, you know, this is a question to the WBA why have it? Why will you allow Murata to sit for a year to fight Triple G at the end of the year? And not try to clean up that bell situation and give and, and give my man uh uh what's his name his fight, Laura his chance. You know what I'm saying? Laura still get shit on. Laura Laura pretty much had a draw with Canelo and they gave that fight to him. You know what I'm saying? And Laura continues to be shitted on. He deserves to be talked about up there with the rest of them cats, bro. At, at, at 160. And I believe he, he deserves his shot at Murata. And the WBA is choosing favorites. So I'm a tip out, Fred. You know what I'm saying? Generally, I don't like getting on because, you know, they can be smoking and shit around this time. But, uh, you know, all in all, do rags, man. Do rags died in the 90s. Let me take that motherfucking do rag off. Two hours early is back. Super chat on that, nigga. <laughs> Peace. He's right. Well, you ready, TB? You ready, TB? We got champion heart. We got Kyle coming in in a second. Fred, beam me in with this clown. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, oh you want duty? No, man. I'm just. Um, I had some family come in town from uh, uh, Tennessee, so I was. So they make you sleep um, in the car? Nah, I I was showing them around because because they they actually they was um they were. Well, they are direct descendants of my uh, great uncle, and but they they've actually never been 
to Toba County. Mm. So I was showing them around and uh, I'm just getting back home and you came on. So <laughs> I, just, I decided to, to, to just stay Thank in the truck. You. Thank you, man. I appreciate rather, it. A lot. Rather, than, rather than go in the house. And uh, and yeah, just be a, just be a part of the show. I'll be doing the same thing. I'll be sitting in the car listening to me as well. <laughs> that was a very conceited statement, but uh, all right. But anyway, <laughs> what's up, man? What's um, up? how you? How was your weekend? You had a good. I, 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 I'll omit that question because your call is already going to be long enough. So go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's, it's, it's actually not. Oh, okay. Uh, Shakur, uh -huh. Sh Shakur put on a great show. Um, I'm not a fan of the of the lead up to it, with his antics and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, Jim, uh, 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 Heron acquitted stuff like you know, saying like like a grown man uh, leading up to this uh, this whole fight, and uh, he uh, acquitted stuff you know, saying like like a man. You know what I'm saying like a marine, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He uh I don't a lot of people say that he was dominated, and I don't see where I, it, it, he he obviously lost the fight, but I don't see where he had any quit in him. So as long as he didn't have any quit in himself, that there was times when he backed up Shakur. You know what I'm saying? Where he where, where he came for Shakur, but Shakur. Like I've said in the past, Shakur has a good defense against the jab and this and, and, and all that stuff, and he and he maintained that against uh, the brother. Uh, he did make uh, Jamel look a little old uh, 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 Saturday night. Uh, he he did uh, show uh, Heron's age, Sergeant Heron's age. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Um, yeah, uh, Shakur. Uh, we we knew he was going to win the fight, but because of the the way he conducted himself, kind of wanted him to get his ass spanked a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, the way he can, because it, what bothered you, you? Huh? What bothered you about about Shakur? His mouth. Oh, he was talking too much. Oh, oh, oh when he wanted the belt, yeah, uh, grabbing the belt, and mm. I mean, you know what? I'll be honest with you. When he when he's grabbing the belt, the way that uh 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 uh, Heron was like pushing away, he kind of looked a little afflicted. The way he was pushing away, push his hand away. I was like, okay, yeah, this this fight is lost. His coordination <laughs> is kind of like off a little bit, and um, and since I watched little small stuff. Mm -hmm. And the way and the way he was push, pushing uh uh the young man's hand away, his his coordination was like off the way he was trying to like push his hand away. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this fight, mm -hmm. yeah, oh yeah, he's gonna lose. Really? That's funny uh, because I didn't even think about that. I, I, I didn't I, think I didn't think one second about the lead up to the fight. Yeah, I was like, yeah, Jamel look, looks a little afflicted how he's like trying to push his hand away, and I'm a I'm a Herring fan. Uh, we're two combat vets. It, that's my man. I, I I never spoke to him. I never interviewed him. Nothing. I tried to get an interview, never got it. But uh, that's my man in my head. That's my that's my man in my head. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't know him. Could meet him. Get to know him. Realize I don't like him. But as of right now, that's my dude. You know what I'm saying? So I, I wanted to see him win because the you know what I'm saying the, the young buck was doing a little too much. And then to turn around and say, well, uh yeah, I mean this is for the cameras, what what have you what have you, you know what I'm saying? It's like trolling. It's like troll that's like trolling the public or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I mean I, I don't I can't co-sign on that. That was very disrespectful. This man damn it ought to be your damn daddy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, at least at least brother fought like it. 
Saturday night. It may he may not be old his father, but he fought like it on Saturday night. Um one last point. Uh Wilder and uh Fury. Uh Fury giving uh uh Wilder a birthday shout out. I I mean I don't know if that's uh heartfelt or or what. I don't even I don't even know how to call it. I I I looked at it and I tried to uh digest that and try to figure out, you know what I'm saying, how would I feel if that was if, if I was in Wilder shoes after all of that um after everything that's been happening. Them gloves wouldn't flop you on the third fight. It was floppy on in fights one and two. The uh the evidence is there. If Waters taking this to court, he has he has more evidence than black men going to jail. You know what I'm saying? So, and then and and and, and now this dude said, "Hey, I want to give a special shout out to my pal." I don't know if that's an insult or man, you know, I don't know what I I can't even call it. I don't know what that is. Does this dude have an actual issue? Um, man, I don't make me look, dude. I don't even. I don't know. Um, I can't figure this dude out. I can't. But but at the same time, I slightly feel offended. But at the same time, I feel like this dude actually has a problem. So I almost feel sorry for him. I let I let y'all figure that out. You 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 y'all comment you know, you know whatever. But um, after what this guy has done, this dude's gonna send a birthday shout out to the guy that you cheated. We we have the video evidence. We can see it. And you will send a birthday shout out. That the trilogy was epic, but the only difference the 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 the, the common denominator. And the fact that you won fight one and three was the referee. That's it. And we all know what, what happened in, in the second fight. But fight one and three, those should have went to Wilder. That was a referee. I'm off for it. Appreciate you. Thanks, Thanks man. People. All the time. What's up, Mr. Henderson? Fred, I didn't get a chance to talk about your earlier post. Can I beam in? Yeah, we're going to talk about that. But nobody's in their chair. What's up? Oh, Kyle came back. Uh, uh, yeah, he's about to make his entrance. He's about to make his entrance. There he is. There he is. About to make his entrance. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> He doing a TikTok challenge? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> hey, President Yal Forrest said, did Ali do too much against nice. Frazier? Oh, man, he called him a monkey. I remember that shit. He carried that shit. Great. I was going to bring that up. I was going to bring that up. Oh, you were? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. What's up, Kyle? What's up, baby? What's up, What's up, baby? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Oh, you want to come in? Yeah, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Hear you. yeah. Okay, Kyle, can you hear me? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh um, uh, yeah, man. Um, to reply to TV, man. That's how you know. I wasn't really concerned too much about um, uh, Shakur's the uh, antics, you know, um. That's that's stuff they do to sell fights, man. It is what it is. Uh -huh. uh, look at her looking like her daddy. Oh, man. <laughs> man. Man. That's all right. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's uh, that's what they do, man. To sell fights, you know. Like President Jafar said, you know, Ali was on uh, was on the show talking about, you know, uh, had a little toy in his hand talking about 
come on, gorilla, we in Manila. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? The reason that Frazier was upset about that because behind the scenes, you know, Frazier was giving him money. You know what I'm saying? He was he was uh he was helping him go through the stuff that Ali was going through. So, you know, he felt that he didn't need to do that. You know, they had already fought a couple of times. So he figured people are gonna come to the fight. You ain't you don't have to do it. But you know, that's that was Ali's thing, man. That's 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 what he did. And Frazier was mad at him for years for that, man. Frazier, I think Frazier finally forgave Ali maybe a year or two before he passed away. Mm-hmm. But uh but you know, that's just something that they do to sell fights. Uh, you know, I know that some fighters, man, they have to, like you were saying, Fred, that, that Jordan used to uh, create, you know, uh, a beef in his head. Uh, 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 Kobe would do it. You know, uh, that's just something that, that athletes have to do to perform. Mm. You know, they have, they, you know what I'm saying? Because some some athletes, they can't like turn it on and turn it off. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're competing, you got a different mindset, you know, then when you turn it off, you know, you know what I'm saying? You're not that same person, but some 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 athletes can't do that. They have to create, you know, a false uh, uh, beef in order to make themselves perform. You know, I can remember when I was uh, working with my uh, my ex boxing coach and we had a young lady that uh, she would do that. And we were and this was uh, the amateurs. And she would, you know, like the girl that she would fight would walk by and she would say, coach, did you hear what she said? And I would look at my coach like. Man, she didn't say that. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he said, he said, man, she, you know, she doing that. And the whole time we wrapping her hands, she's saying stuff like, you hear what that bitch said? I'm going to fuck that bitch. You see what she, you hear what she said about me? And she would be in the fight and she would be talking to her and just, just bam, 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 bam. Huh, bitch? Why well, I say it again, bitch? Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> and I say, coach, she going to get disqualified because in the average, you can't talk. You know what I'm saying? In the ring. I say, Coach, you gonna get this. And the coach would just shake his head. He said, Man, I can't stop him from doing it. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> so that's what fighters do, man. You know, a lot of athletes do that. Um uh also, man, let me talk about uh uh I was gonna ask you, Freddie, uh, did you see Evander's son fight? Who? Evander, Evander oh, Holy Cross. I didn't get to no, I didn't. I don't have I don't have ESPN plus no more. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, man, I, I'm still on the fence with that kid, man. Uh, I see the only way he got that, that knockout, that kid, that dude was throwing a lot of wide open shots, you know, and, uh, and, uh, his, his, and he was able to hit him with that, you know, with that hook. So he, he looked real, uh, ah, he looked real sloppy, but you know, I, I'm still on the fence. I'm still on the fence with, with him. Um, uh, what DJ was saying about that kid Xander, man. Man, that kid got skills. Man, the way that kid uh, was was um, uh, executing punches to the body, you know, uh, uh, body body uh, punching is very underrated. And you know, you you get a lot of fighters that do this head hunting shit, and nobody really concentrates on the body like they should. Man, it's really underrated, man. And a lot of fighters should do that. And this kid was really putting punches together to the body well, man. I mean. Yeah, I, I would think he's really trained by by an old school fighter. The way he was he was fighting, I don't know who's training him, but that kid got skills. I'm 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 excited to see what's going to happen with him. Me too. You know, he's got some real nice skills. Um, I'm, gonna tell you what, I'm gonna tell you something else, though, Champion Heart. That that was even better than his skills in the ring. What he did outside of the ring was even better. What so, was that? Walking walking towards the back of the locker room, right? It was some kids. It was like, a couple is like a lot of kids in like this corner, right? When you go into the uh, when you uh, walk into the uh, when you walk into the back, and then out of nowhere he stopped, take his shoes off, and we, everybody looked like, "What the hell's going on? What's wrong with this dude?" Like, and so right. at first we thought he was hurting. I said, "No, nah, he's taking his shoes off. He about to get him shoes sent to to a kid." Take the shoes off, caught the, the little black kid down because the little black the little black kid was doing like little boxing moves and shit, while, uh, like and all that. Caught him yeah. down, bro. Gave him the shoes, dude. That was yeah. I said that right there. He got he got a fan of me forever after that. Oh, yeah, for real. Really. Recorded it. Should have recorded it. I mean, I, it was it was in the moment, man. You right in the moment. <laughs> you know, in the moment, it was just like, oh shit, like that's dope. You know, I got to talk to him after though. So I got to talk to him afterwards. I didn't, I should. Fred, you know me, man. After that whole learning LB shit, 
fuck. I, 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 I don't even fuck around with the camera, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, after that little, that'll be bullshit. After you know, <laughs> he'll be traumatized too. <laughs> hell yeah, bro. Because I, ain't, I ain't trying to feel boosty ever again. I ain't about to. Hey, listen, Fred. I ain't finna feel boosty ever again after that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck that. Motherfucker, you ask nigga nicely. When a motherfucker do this to your face with the camera on your mouth and shit, you talk to oh. me. I ask you, I ask you nice. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no time. You about to go eat. And then you don't even leave. You know what I'm saying? So, I, nah, so, nah, fuck it. So, nah, I get, you know, used, get used to people saying no. Nah, yeah. I ain't about being, nah, fuck it. If I don't gotta, if I, hey, hey listen. Yeah. If I don't gotta do it, I ain't, I ain't doing it. Fuck it. Yeah. So, we'll hey, figure what, it out. Hey, what day you come in LA, by the way? Uh, that's November uh, 20th, 21st. That's and you, Sunday. And you leaving the 22nd or the 21st? No, probably the same day. Oh, you just, oh, you're not staying tonight? So we're going. So my wife uh, has convinced me to go with her to Vegas to go to the fight. Okay. So uh, she was like, because well, I was trying to get her to go like Vegas just to, you know, I wouldn't even go to the fight. She was like, well, what's the point of you going out of town if you're not going to a fight? So I said, all right, well, shit, I guess I'm going to Sean Porter uh, 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 funeral. Um, so. <laughs> oh, man. We getting, we getting ready to talk about this Porter hate, man. I don't understand this shit. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, listen. Hey, hey, I really think, I really think that now. Y'all killing me. Now, hey, I missed now, we gonna, now, oh, if you lose, we're oh. gonna have a roast session. Oh, we de- hey. oh, I'm definitely gonna have a roast session. I missed another chance to get uh some content gold on wax. I missed the opportunity again. What happened? You know, every time, bro, you know, every time I be with Steve and, and, and Bud and him, I don't even think about the fucking camera. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I listen, now, tell, us the gold. That, tell us the gold, man. Huh? Tell us to go. Oh man, you know, yeah, wow. I told him, you know, I told the nigga straight up. You know, y'all y- 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 know I'm fucking around. I said, listen, we got a lot of uh he know I said we got a lot of uh uh Porter fans out of no fucking place. He said, bro, I know, I know. I said, listen. <laughs> hey, hey, are you talking to I, No, at, bro, it's we on we was on live. I am ill will, we was on this live. You go on this live, he I told him, listen. I told him, I said, listen, you got 90% chance to meet Bud Crawford today. He's like, nigga, like, like, you know, so I said, watch it. Just come with me, bro. So, you know, my boy Steven Nelson was at the fight and uh-huh. shit, right? Uh-huh. Then that motherfucker said, that motherfucker know you? I said, bro, I try to tell you, dog. I, I don't just tell you shit just to tell you shit. So then he got to, he got to meet Bud Crawford and shit. Um, so but, I, am I am your will? Yep, yep, yep. So I told oh. the nigga, right? I said, hey, nigga, listen. You about to make me? You be, I said, listen. Now I'm trying to be a rich man, nigga. I got a lot of money on you, nigga. For about this knock, it, knock this knockout. I said, I need you to stop that, nigga. He looked at me. You know how you know a motherfucker serious? You know how you know a motherfucker serious? He looked at me with that 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 look in his eyes, like nigga. You, nigga, you finna be like like th- like the eyes got big, like nigga. Yeah, you finna be rich, nigga. Cause I'm finna knock this nigga out. I said, <laughs> all right. You should, yeah, you should have recorded that shit. I know, yeah, man. That's, that's the one thing I and then you should have said. And, 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 and then you should have said, yeah. Uh, you know what's funny, bud? That dude from Barbershop Conversations picked you to beat him. <laughs> hey, you know, bud, I, don't I, fuck I, with you, I, at, all, I, at all, at all, at all. Wow. Hey, hey, listen. You, you didn't already fucked up one of my relationships, nigga. That's. <laughs> hey, this motherfucker Fred. Listen, this motherfucker Fred. How was that my fault? The kids. Collateral, hey, look, collateral damage like a motherfucker, dog. Right. A prisoner <laughs> of war. Ah, <laughs> hey. Ah, they the wasn't nigga. your friends anyway. They wasn't your hey. friends. <laughs> you know, he's too young in the game to, to, to fuck around. And I tried to. He said it, not me. He said yeah, it. but nigga, that was like one of them things where it's like, you know what I mean? Wow, it's the internet. So, man, listen. So I told the nigga Fred, right? This motherfucker. I should post some DMs because it was funny as hell, right? Because I, I hate the nigga Fred. I said, hey, look. I said, man. Because I knew he was going to do this. I said, hey, <laughs> don't make no fucking video, Fred. He go, Okay. 
<laughs> you already know, man. <laughs> Five minutes later, cuz <laughs> Mayweather won't. He doesn't want his fighters to interview with black me. I said, I said, I already know. I said, fuck right hey, here. Hey, that shit was straight to him, too. That's hey, look, it. and that's exactly why it, uh, that Linda Ellen probably knew. He watched that 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 he's watching right now, dog. Yeah, he's he watching right now, dog. What's I'm gonna up, tell you the truth. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It was like five people that ran up on me and was like, hey, you be on fresh, yo, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, matter of fact, Tay Jones was with me. Tay Jones was with me one time because the nigga uh, recognized Tay Jones, right? And he go, hey, you on barbershop conversations, huh? <laughs> I said, man, I said, this nigga Fred that made me famous on accident, man. You know what I mean? But I think his, his computer must have died. His computer going out again. Yeah, no, man. I'm, no, I'm good. It's just I'm that uh, uh, it had uh, I, I smacked the table and it pulled a, a plug came out. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Fred funny as hell though. Fred, Fred, Fred is funny as hell, dog. I'm telling you, <laughs> motherfucker. Listen, <laughs> and you know he gonna do some shit too, cause the nigga Fred. He don't, if, if, if it's a no, he'll say no. Or if it's okay, he'll just put a K. Once that motherfucker put an O in the cast of this motherfucker right here. <laughs> I said this motherfucker hey, right hey, here. That's me. No, hey, and K, that's me. Hey, listen. I, I know, hey, I study patterns. Uh, I told you I got booed at church for studying niggas. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I know that, hey, listen, I know that nigga fell off the back of my hand, bro. I knew he was going to do some bullshit. Oh, so, I had to. That's because look. So listen, and the thing is, Champion Heart, the nigga Fred. You know what I'm saying? He only asks you for shit when he' about to do some shit. When he' about to do some shit. Because he don't never ask you for shit. He don't never. <laughs> he don't never ask you for nothing or, or nothing like that. The motherfucker. I knew he was. I knew it because this is why. I, it's how I knew because motherfucker gonna say something. He gonna, he, gonna, he gonna hit me up on Instagram and gonna say, "Hey, what was the timestamp on that?" Can I? <laughs> <laughs> right, after, right, after, right after that, I said, "Hey, nigga, don't do this video for me, please, brother, please." <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, the cool thing is people recognize you in boxing from the show. Uh, that's yeah. dope. Yeah, that's dope. No, 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 it it's is. Growing, you're, growing. You're, growing. you're growing. Yeah, yeah. most definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have hey, we have we have fun every night, man. And mm -hmm. I tell you what, the best thing that ever happened was me mm -hmm. touching that my computer on accident and that song playing while the nigga was talking. That was the best thing that could happen. <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit was classic. That shit was classic. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I say, I say, man, Kyle always trolling TV. <laughs> hey, I, I always tell niggas if I mess with you a lot, that means I got love for you, man. <laughs> you know. you, man. man, listen, I'm going to tell you the truth, though, Fred. Yes. The, the LDBC is one of the best boxing communities niggas could be a part of. Yes. Yes. I tell you, we all, just, I'm, I'm hella mad I didn't get to catch up with Blue Blood this time because I, I was like, I was in and out shit. Big. But I'm, I'm mad I didn't get to uh, catch up with Blue Blood because I, I should got there earlier. But I tell you this, man. Yeah, Blue Blood, good we're, brother. We're all brothers when we could just get up and just kick it. Man, it's amazing, man. Shout out, shout out to, uh, JC the storyteller, shout out to Junior the Truth. I'm Ill Will Cadillac Red, uh, DJ Tay Jones. Uh, shit, who else? Who else? Uh, Mark Nash was in the building with us. Uh, uh, shit, who else? I feel like I'm missing somebody. I feel like I'm missing somebody. But uh, I'm not missing. Not even. I can't be missing nobody, bro. Oh shit. Uh, combat sports, combat sports, world combat sports was in the motherfucking. Yeah, he was with us. Uh, yeah, man, it was just a, it was a great fucking time. Uh, shout out to Troy Isley, 
you know what I'm saying? Put that motherfucker away, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The original uh, 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 friend of the uh, boxing section, you know what I'm saying? We got to get him over here to the shop. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because uh, yeah, he came in. Hey, we got to get Bernie in here, dog. Now, Bernie, you know, I, you know, you know, you know, was with him. I was with him uh, like, damn near all weekend and shit. You know, I was with him in Vegas, too. Oh, uh, Bernie, funny man. Bernie, right, he funny as a motherfucker. He hates my guts, but he funny as a motherfucker. He <laughs> I can't come on just to argue with you, though. I know, I know. DJ, I know. tell you, DJ, tell you, bro, it was that shit was funny as hell. And nigga, DJ didn't recognize him, right? Uh -huh. So we all just talking about boxing and shit. And the nigga, he, he, he's so passionate about uh, Crawford. So he, like, you know, he passionate. And then DJ was like, hey, man. Hey, hey, man, take your emotion out of it. Hey, you you, hey, you, hey, you got to take your emotion out of this, dog. Like, you, you a little too high. Because, you know, he talk with his hands and shit. And the DJ was like, hey, hey, bro. Like, DJ was like, hey. <laughs> DJ crazy ass was like, All right, now, hey, calm, 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 calm down, brother. Now, I just told you. Man, she was funny as hell, dog. That shit was fun. We had a great fucking time. Great fucking weekend. Um, Shakur Stevens put on a hell of a show like I knew he would. Uh, yeah, Jamel Heron didn't deserve that ass whooping, man. That was that was that was Oscar Valdez's ass whooping that Jamel yeah. Heron had to take. You know what I'm saying? That's unfair. That was an unfair ass whooping for Jamel Heron, man. He wasn't supposed yeah. to take that ass whooping, and that's was for unification. You know, you know we we knew that uh, that we knew that um, uh, the kid man was the uh, was the goods. We just needed to see it. Yeah, we you know, talking about uh, Shakur. We knew Shakur was Shakur was the good. We just need to see it. You know, listen, you know what that motherfucker's special. When you look at a motherfucker, you know. Like I told Fred, I, I tell Fred this shit all the time. When I seen Jerron Ennis, I told Fred, I said, that motherfucker's special. He is, right. man. That motherfucker Fred was like, you, you, you think so? I said, nigga, listen to me. No, yeah. Right. He fights Saturday, right? Yeah, Bruce Ennis ain't him. You know, you know, I'm in the building. You going you know to saying? Vegas? Is a pig pork? Is it elephant heavy? Is water wet? It's fire hot, of course. <laughs> and you been doing some traveling, dog. Good <laughs> you, good on to you. You getting it in? Yeah. You love Man. them airplanes. You love them airports. Dude, I front. Right. Listen, Frontier is the best thing ever happened to me. Uh, I'm telling you right now. Frontier is the best thing ever happened to me yeah, as it pertains to planes, man. They're affordable, right? Dude, yeah. it's twenty dollars. <laughs> Yeah. Twenty dollars? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just. I'm, they got, I'm, they got, no, I know. I know. They got real cheap. How, how much yeah. was your ticket to uh, Atlanta? My ticket to Atlanta. I, my whole trip, like room and flight, four hundred dollars. Wow. Orbis. Orbis.com, dude. They got the best prices on everything, bro. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. And, and your Vegas trip this weekend? You flying up Saturday, right? Listen. I'm doing a turnaround trip because I I think Blue Blood is gonna be there, so I'm gonna do a turnaround trip. We're gonna go to Blue the, Blood going to Vegas. I think so. I, I got hit it with ah, the next show. Those I, are the best, but listen, those middle cards. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Those are the best cards to get interviews. Oh my god! You know I know that. You know I know that. It's slow motion. It's slow motion. You ain't got to worry about traffic. They need they need the promotion for next week's big fight. Yeah. Oh, it's. Uh, it's the best ever. Like, yeah. I, maybe. And then you got to, you then you got to worry, but you ain't got to really worry about the extra shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me check my schedule. Let me check my schedule. Because you know me and Dre got this Google. Nani, what you doing? <laughs> oh, let me let me bring in. What's up? Go ahead. Oh shit! You caught me in the middle of eating my seeds, man. Oh, uh, I, 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 I'll yeah, drop you out. No, I'm here. I'm here. All right, well, so I'm, 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 I'm here. What you talking right for? I'm I really wanted to. Um, I really wanted to address right? your right. post, your earlier post when you said, "Oh, uh, Dre is okay, cool, Dad, I'm listening." I really wanted to address your earlier post when you were saying that um, black media and black fighters should unify. Turn your camera the other way so we all can be in unison. So we all look. Yeah, I'm gonna start calling you Spike Lee, man. You always walking around your house, pairing your phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Spike Lee has that that hover camera effect when he. <laughs> 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 I'm permanently in the garage. I'm permanently in the garage. So look, I just wanted. Can you can you hear me, Fred? Yeah, turn your camera the other way. 
You want to see? You want to see what I got going on? Hold on. No, we all. No, I'm just saying. No, no, like this. Yeah, or, or just leave it like that. That's cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, 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 what's your question? Yeah. So I really wanted to address. Um, you had posted earlier, and you said that um, media and black fighters should, should unify. For sure. For sure. I. 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 I man. I. I think that would be the most powerful thing ever. You know, we got to start being a solution instead of the problem, you know, and 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 I genuinely think that that it can happen. <clears throat> you know, um, uh, Kyle just mentioned uh, um, about the LDBC. You ain't it's 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 uh, <clears throat> so that proves that it can be done like the mission can be done as it pertains to the bigger goal, you know, so. Um, I, I think it's important. I, I genuinely think there'll be no more Gary Russell issues. There'll be no more Shakur Stevenson saying Oscar Valdez is ducking me. You know, these guys. You know what? Like, you know, but Fred, it's still going to happen, man. And like, yes. I told, like I told you about the uh, other day, it's it's a myth. That whole the promoter work for me shit, man, that's a myth, man. That them contracts that these, that these folks sign. The, you work for the promoter, bro. I don't give a damn what 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 they trying to get you to understand or what they're trying to make you believe, dog. At the end of the day, Gary Russell ain't been the same since he came on here and, and uh, hyped himself about that fight with him and Devin Haney. And Al Hamer said, nigga, you out your fucking mind. You ain't doing a fucking thing without me. You know what right. I'm saying? And he ain't had a fight since. He ain't smelt a fight. He ain't, he ain't been to a fight. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, right. so... You you know say what you want like we 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 can work together and all that shit but as it pertains to trying to set some shit up like that man no nah, they got their foot on with these motherfuckers next because ain't no way uh Gary Russell can't get no fights he can't fight at a damn club show yeah it's something it's something there it's something there that's yeah. not being said and yeah, maybe yeah. it will come out because Gary's working on two years this February so um <clears throat> you know Chris Colbert Gary Russell would have been a good fight. It would have been a great fight. You know, so. You know. Uh, but I think that the power, the when you give the, the power to the people, change can happen. I I, 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 I believe it. I believe it. <clears throat> uh, Somebody got to be. Is that nigga uh, Champion Heart sleep? No, no, no. Oh. I was talking to, <laughs> No, no. I was talking to uh, President Jafar. He talking about. Uh, uh, Porter gonna get Molly Walk or something like that. I was like, man, you crazy. <laughs> oh, he definitely, he you definitely want, gonna get Molly Walk. He definitely gonna get Molly Walk. But no, man, man, I'm about to get, man, I wanna, um, I wanna I'm holler at Fred. Fred. What fight you all are basing that on? I don't get. I mean, he's gonna get a first class ticket to heaven. He's gonna fight Frontier. The upper Ooh. room. The upper room. <laughs> Yeah, that bro. Nobody hey, else I was there it. too. Oh, you said you wasn't oh, going. No, I talked her into it. I talked her into it. We was there together. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh you did see Miss T. You did see, see Miss T. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay, great. Okay. I wanted okay. okay. That's dope. That's dope. Maybe I should have took a picture. We did. Yeah. Come on, oh, we'll post it. I did. Oh okay. you did. Well, I'm trying to on my on my on Facebook, but it ain't working. Oh, you didn't post it then. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Put it on your IG. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that soon. Okay. I got I got hella pictures and shit. Um, I gotta say this though, man. Timothy Bradley, you might not like him. I like Timothy Bradley now though. He's growing on me. He grew on me. He grew on me this weekend. Why? 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 What he said? Um, hold on, hold on, bro. Come on. Oh, you was at the Fighters Hotel hanging out. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh. So, okay. but um, I can't go with you, man. We're talking. Um, he he took he took about thirty to forty minutes talking to this one kid. This one kid had he had this one kid fought, and he had a tough fight that he could have won. Timothy Bradley literally talked to this kid forty minutes, probably forty five, damn near almost an hour, mm -hmm. talking to this kid about what he could have done to win that fight and the changes that he needs to make to be a great fighter. I said, this motherfucker right here, because he got my respect. You know what I'm saying? He talked that shit, but 
you know how niggas be talking shit and they ain't got no solutions for you? He talked that shit, right. but he had a solution. For hey, Kyle, people. you're right. You're right. Talking about niggas that be talking shit, but ain't got no solution. That's what yeah. I'm... Only reason I'm here is to, is to talk about Fred earlier post. Oh, I'll be right back. I gotta get this going. Go ahead. When he was talking about, um, you know, black fighters unifying with black media. Damn, man. I wish I could turn my camera on to fucking drop this knowledge. But look, Champion Heart, Kyle, you know, I was on Fred's live and one of the last things I heard, I was on there with Kyle and Kyle, or I might've got off and Kyle got right on and he was like, Hey, buy uh nine wives. And I did it. I did it right after he said it. He said, buy nine wives. And I, and I did it that day. And I, and I fucking, I watched it and, and tapped back in to Fred as he was live to let him know what type of issues I was having, whatever. I watched it and then I, I let him know how I felt about it as he was live. My whole thing with the with black fighters and tapping into black media because the black fighters should tap into black media. Right. That's happening on 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 uh, social media, whether it be YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, whatever the fuck it is. But somehow the black dollars are not being respected by black people. And this is the problem that we have. And, you know, you got a motherfucker like Charlo willing to say what the fuck he says. And honestly, he is talking to us. He is talking to broke. He talking to broke. I mean, granted, I'm 100,000 there, but that's beside the point. He talking to broke. Black people when he say, fuck y'all broke Wilder fans. Because niggas don't be tapping in. Fred, you, you, got, you, got, a, you got a whole short movie you got a whole short film charging is less than a mcdonald's fucking value mill how many niggas bought it fred i know the number because you said it uh not even a week ago it's like bro we gotta get better and you know i subscribe to the boxing section because kyle on here religiously oh man appreciate you we dog I subscribe, you know what I'm saying? I'll be there right after this live end. But my problem, but my point is, black people got to recognize and understand the value in their dollar. I'm in this, I'm in this brother, yo, Fred, you got me trying to, you know, get rid of that N word and shit. So, yeah, I'm, part, I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah, yeah like, me too. I'm not on your stream, so <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> it's a personal story. It's a personal story. <laughs> so, but you know, I'm, 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 I'm actively. I'm, no, I'm, got no damn sense. Uh, yo, but look, but look though, I'm actively. I'm actively. Good that you're doing that, brother. That's good. That you're doing that. Yeah, I'm actively supporting Fred and Kyle stream. You know. I, I'm supporting, you know, Kyle's stream going on later than Fred. I'm on the East Coast, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't. I, I'll be there when I be there, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's viewership or whatever. But as far as Super Chats, Fred get all my shit religiously. So when the brother called me broke from Texas, I'm like, damn, bro, you going to call me broke for the money that I'm spending on Fred channel religiously? Like, bro, we have to get better at rec recognizing and respecting our dollar. We're the biggest consumers in this country. So before these lost niggas like the Charlos, oh, fuck, I just fucked up. So before these lost brothers like the Charlos. Uh, they, 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 ain't, they ain't so damn brother, it's some niggas. You right. First time. You right. <laughs> you right. So before Nick. these laws, raccoons like the Charlos can respect our dollar, we got to respect our dollar. And Fred Wright, when he say that the black fighters should just tap in with the black media, we all we need. But y'all got to respect your own motherfucking dollars, man. Spend your money where you need to spend your money. 
And when somebody who look like you, when somebody who respects you, when somebody who represents what you represent is doing something, you need to financially back that man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, back that man or female financially. There's no reason why uh, Shakur or Heron shouldn't have been on the barbershop to promote this fight that's coming up. Right. There's, there's no reason why um shit i don't even know what fight's coming what 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 fight we got coming up we got uh oh uh D D darwin price will be on tomorrow night okay respect night. listen my mom had to cut you off no nah, but maybe this is why i'm going to this fight for you already know when the niggas when niggas come on my show i don't I give a fuck huh huh I, I might want to go to Vegas for a day. Yo, Kyle, you don't do beamings, Kyle, you don't do beamings. I just get excited though. and say shit like that. That's all. You Kyle, said, you don't do, Kyle, you don't do beamings, though. What, what you mean? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Shit, it be full of that son of a gun. Yeah, it be hella, oh, it, it be it, hella brothers on there. I'm like, damn, he must not do. I'm thinking, Kyle, Kyle I'm thinking that's your panel. That's nah, not your dog, panel. Dog, dog, random niggas. Nah, they all stay on. Yeah, yeah, I done took a lot of. I, hey, listen, I took a lot of chances to get my my page fucking banned because I let a <laughs> motherfucker on and they show some dick or some bullshit like that. And I gotta cuss them out and wow. all type of shit. Yeah, man. Wow, that happened one time here. <clears throat> yeah, so that you know that shit. I be trying to give niggas the benefit of the doubt, but I be, I be knowing though. Champion hard to tell y'all. I, I say, I look look at this nigga right here in the, in the back. Show your goddamn face, nigga. Uh, pop like a something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I say too, man. Are you human? Are you real? Because shit, I can't take that chance. Nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah, and then you gotta go edit it. And I'm like, I don't wanna yeah. edit those. I don't wanna go back and look at this shit again. What? Right. You know good and damn well I ain't editing shit. My my <laughs> life should be four five fucking hours. Right. right. <laughs> yeah, you could do so it on look. YouTube though. You could do it from the YouTube from the back for the manage the videos. Man, I gotta, I gotta get my shit together because I don't be knowing nothing. I yeah. be listen. If it was listen, Sento say some wild shit. He don't say that wild shit nowhere else but on the boxing section. Mm -hmm. right. When that fucking when that uh, when that board when that uh, <laughs> when that damn uh, when that border change from my cash app to Sento's Chronicles, all best of all, man. <laughs> hey man, uh Kyle be uh shit, Kyle be saving lives, man. When I be driving at night, I be oh, needing yeah. Man, yeah. I definitely be needing that shit. Yeah, because Centos is a truck driver, correct? Yeah, Centos yeah. is also a driver, so yeah, Kyle be saving lives, man, because that shit, man. Now, Centos is the one listen, Centos mm -hmm. is the one that's been saving lives this whole time. I'm gonna tell you, because I would I used to go off in an hour, hour and a half, two hours. That's all I got for niggas. But what happened was every time I was trying to get off. The nigga Centos would try to keep me on. And me being a professional, keep a nigga in a conversation so they can't go nowhere because I'm bored. You know what I'm saying? Being a professional like that, I knew what he was doing. I said, nigga, what's up? Would you want me to stay on or something? He's like, man, I'm trying to get through the night. I said, well, shit, all right. Bro. I'm going to keep this shit going. And, and then, you know, so, and then shit, it just it blossomed into this, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, the best shit happened on accident, man. The best shit happened on accident, for real. Organically, yeah, right. Uh, don't don't panic. Well, Kyle, I'll be I'll be at your shit after after we done with this barbershop. But Fred, on some yeah. real shit, I don't know what we need to do to. I I don't know what we need to do. I don't know what we need to do, Fred. But black people need to. I think black media should start a union. I I, I really believe we should apply pressure, uh, and that way we can get like uh uh what we want man but i tried it before and everyone you know what i mean fred, like, but there's no reason for a union fred oh no, not it? a union union not like a not like hey we gonna no that's not what i'm saying like a kind of like a pseudo union where we all because it, could you, but you know, we should okay. though that's the thing about it niggas should walk out and say we don't give a fuck about y'all uh y'all y'all you know what i'm saying because we always gotta jump through hella hoops but i i done seen it a motherfucker, they want they want us to jump through every fucking hoop in the fucking world, and then yeah. the white guy come with a camera and every they're all they 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 posing for the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So that's why that's why I said, man, I if I ain't I ain't bring my 
phone out to interview none of you motherfuckers. If, if y'all come on my show, we'll, we'll talk. But other than that, nah. But go ahead, friend. My bad, cut you off and shit. No, you didn't cut me off. It's it's uh, it's just important that if one person is, is going through it, we're all going through it. Like like it's sad that uh, and not sad because I'm not disappointed in it because. But like when a media member is going through something, so let's say myself, right? Like the media should have backed me on that. Because at the end of the day, if I win, you you gain more power. You know, and and it, it, it's the same thing, like and 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 that's kind of like my problem too. Like, like if not my problem, it's not a problem. But when I see something wrong. I can't sit idle, you know. Martin Luther King taught me silence is a sin, right? So, so when I see something, I have to acknowledge it. And 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 if I don't acknowledge it, my beard will start falling off. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it just, I like, I, I I just don't sit well in. Like I can't even litter. I'm I'm not saying I'm the most moral person in the world. That's not what I'm saying. But like, but like when I'm conscientious of things, like I. You know, like I, like, but it's 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 just different, man. It's, it's it's just different, and and I think that boxing is 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 the place where it can happen because there's no rules, there's no like, there's no governing body, and 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 I think that change can really really happen. Well, that's the that's the beautiful thing about me being on your channel, Fred. I feel like I, I feel like every time you go live. I'm featured on this channel and personal perspective. I'm a type nigga. Yo, this is why I need my camera on so niggas can see me when I'm speaking. I'm the type nigga. I don't subscribe to nothing that I can't feel. I don't subscribe to nothing that I can't feel. So when Fred is doing nine wives and Fred is making posts talking about Black fighters should tap in with they with they media. I support that. And when I'm telling you on this platform, uh, through the graces of Fred, that my YouTube channel is all about black empowerment, and I'm in the streets protesting for black people. When when I'm only here religiously because I believe Fred morally is aligned with where I am morally. So we have to do that consistently for these for these lost motherfuckers like Charlo to say some stupid ass shit like what he said, you know? Black people got to respect their own dollars and that's all I'm saying, bro. Spend your dollars with people who fuck with you. Like you say all the time, Fred, don't get jerked Spend your money where your money is being respected. Like you say all the time, like what the fuck so hard about that, my nigga? I'm yo, pardon me. My people, what's so hard about that? Organization. Yeah, <laughs> barbershop nation. What's so hard about that? Spend your money, shit, boxing uh section nation. What's so hard about that? Spend your money with who ride with you you know what i'm saying and that's the ldbc that's blue blood tv you know i bro i'm out here supporting all black everything and that's what it is they talk they say we the biggest consumers of everything we the biggest consumers of everything and everything 90 percent of everything somebody black is not at the head of it so support your own. What the fuck is wrong with that? You know what's wrong with that? Sounds too much like right. No, nah, you know what they they are gonna say that all uh, oh, the black folks, the black owner got an attitude, so I don't want to support them. Oh, oh, the black person costs a little little extra, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over here and get it from the Indian dude or the, you know what I'm saying? That's how they. That's that's how it is, man. Yeah, well, I've said this before, man. That you know, we got the mentality that their that their uh, their ice water is colder, and 
that's just what that is. You know, um, I think uh, I think a lot of uh, black fighters are understanding that the, the new black media is is uh, has a big stronghold on things. And you got you do have some black fighters that do support, you know, uh, Blue Blood and uh, Champ Side and, uh, you know, other other platforms. Um, but, you know, they uh, you have you do have a lot of them that don't. They still believe that uh, that they need to talk to uh, to that, that to the mainstream media and not support the uh the black media mm, right yeah. right yeah well like i said earlier <laughs> when i beamed in earlier i got more familiar with gary russell of barbershop conversations because fred I had a conversation with gary russell and i did my research because i fuck with fred i looked for it i looked for that interview you know so it's like that type of shit is no longer that type of shit is no longer that mentality is no longer acceptable you know people don't pay for cable no more right for real i got rid of my shit you feel me you got yeah, netflix I, I you got that. hbo yeah. max you got whatever the fuck you need that's on the streaming platform right. people yeah. ain't paying for cable no more so yeah. the same mentality I say travels. people because I'm, I'm people and i, I pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> you got kids though, so I res I respect yeah. what you got going on. <laughs> you, got, you got kids, you got babies. You know what I'm saying? They need they uh telly tubbies and all that shit. But look, I'm saying though, Wilder and Fury three sold as much as it did because of the black community supporting Wilder the way we did. That can't be denied. Javante Davis is doing what he's doing. Why? Because the black community is supporting him. Stop playing, man. I see it all over the world. You know, you got battle rap out here. Battle rap? Battle rap? That is a majority black. You know, the demographic is majority black in that genre. But that is being funded on a corporate level at this point. So stop being disrespectful to people who look like you and put your motherfucking money behind people who look like you. You know, I'm only here because morally I align with Fred from what I see. I don't know Fred when he cut his camera off. I don't know if Fred is in the, you know, a whole bunch of wild shit, a bunch of shit I can come up with. I don't know. But I know when Fred cut his camera on, the shit that he say, the actions that he show, nine wives i align with with that type of thinking and that's why i'm here and that's why fred can get my money black people the people in this chat y'all need to do the same shit y'all need to financially support fred financially support the uh the boxing section like what the fuck? if money is power we need to take the power back and we need to, we need to uh, control the narrative around this bitch. That's 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 what I'm on, Fred. I meant to, you know, I am from Jersey. At the end of the day, I know you was born in New York. You was raised in New York a little bit, so you know how we get. My brother from Texas was talking a little hot last time I was on this channel, so I had to. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Brick City for real, so I had to. You know, but to my core, I support my own. And this is why I spend money with you, brother. You know what I mean? And this is why I will continue to spend money with you, Drew Titan, the LDBC, and uh and the boxing section. Kyle, you going you Kyle, you doing your thing after this? Oh, always and forever, man. If if, if I if, if I if I don't do it, somebody be on there. Right. Yeah, champion heart might be on there. <laughs> I like champion. I'm 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 champion. But, I'm not, I'm probably, but I'm gonna drop in for a little bit, but I'm not dropping tonight. But I um but yeah, I hear what you're saying, brother. You know, and What's I that? hey um the guy yeah. that sing um the guy that sing uh Ain't No Sunshine. Uh is it Bill uh Bill Bill, Bill Weathers? Bill Weathers? Yeah, that, that's how that's how you do that's how you doing the boxing session, huh? Champion Heart. Oh no. 
You uh, do, users, huh? You can't no more. <laughs> I'm going to come in and chop it up with you, brother. But, you know, I can't be on there like, you know, when I ain't driving, I ain't going ain't no, to be there at 6 in the morning to try to talk to Santos. He can call me on the phone if you need to stay up. Shit. <laughs> Hey, Fred, real shit, though. Fred, real shit, though. I got a Malcolm X shirt on right now. I know I done sent you about, like, four Super Chats tonight. Maybe four or five. That's about five orders of nine wives. I feel some type of way every time I send you a Super Chat because I know YouTube taking a cut. And I know I could have just bought four or five orders of nine wives. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, don't worry about it. It's 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 uh it's it's a part of the show. Like it's uh the super chat spark conversation. It's 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 a it's a right. it's, it's 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 a part of the show. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but to all my black people, I'm gonna get off here. I love and God. I love champion hell. <laughs> 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 Kyle told me to say that. Kyle told me to say that. Hey, 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 you talk more than Dr. Inky. Hey, hey, look, hey, look, Fred. I said, no, no, one, no one beats Dr. Inky, though. What's up? What's up? I said, I, I talk a lot, but I spark mad conversations. Yeah. So, right, right. look, I'm going to get over here. I'll fuck I with care. Champion. I Hart. really don't I care. fuck with I Kev. I, I love Fred. You know what I'm saying? Thank to you. everybody in the chat, my nigga, buy nine yeah. wives. It's yeah, a fucking. Buy nine wives. What you doing? It's a Big Mac. It's the price of a Big Mac. Stop playing. <laughs> you can buy nothing vegan with it, though. That's that's the only thing. If you're a vegan, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm going to jump out of here, too, man. But let me oh, say this, know. man. Um, Shakur did fight a, a wonderful... Uh, uh, he put on a clinic. You know, I really like the way he smothered um, uh, Herring, where Herring couldn't fight on the inside. That was, man, he put on the clinic, man. He put on the clinic, so like I told was, you, he would. Yeah, yeah, he definitely, he definitely put on the clinic. Uh, also, let me get my blue blood on real quick, man. We got, uh, I think, like 128 people in here, 140 oh, we people. Got in here. 300. We got 300. We got 300 in here. We only got how many likes? Well, because I got likes? both channels going. I got both. Oh, you got both channels going. Oh, okay, my bad. All right, well, still get the likes up. Get the likes up. Like that. Get the lights up. Get the lights up. Yeah. up. What are we doing, people? What are we doing, people? <laughs> Get the lights up, people. The little blue blood, man. <laughs> man, I love that dude, man, for real. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, uh, man, I want to get, I want to try and get with that brother, man. Next time I'm in New York, man, seeing my daughter. You know, man, I want to. That's get dope. With him. Blue going, that means a blue blood going to that fight. He gonna stay in Vegas for a week. Hey, let's talk him into it, Fred. I mean, yeah. hey, hey, like, hey, listen. Blue Boy got a football team at home. You know what I mean? Like, you got, he got kids. Hey, yeah. KFB, hey, 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 if we can get uh, KFB in, in the same building at the same time. KFB. Kyle Fred Blue. It's, it, 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 oh, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man. Hey, I ain't going to lie. I'm enjoying watching fights with my kid because I know how important that is. No, most definitely. I, yeah, I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, huh? No, not nothing. I can't wait to watch. Uh, I can't wait to sit at home and not go to Canelo versus Caleb Plant and watch it at the house. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you not going? My, to hell no! The fuck I look like, man. I don't know them niggas over there. You know what I'm saying? They ain't never came to my channel, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jamel Han, I interviewed him before. I interviewed Shakur Stevenson before. Troy Isaac been on my show plenty of times. Haven Bradley been on my show. Uh, so I got to support those that support me. So, you know, Jerron Ennis been on my show. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I, you know. Um, and Doran Price been on my, he was on my show when I had just, when I had like two niggas watching uh, my lives at the at the time. So. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, who who was it? Dorian Price. Oh yeah, yeah. He'll be on tomorrow night. He's gonna yeah, be yeah, yeah. Guy, I got I got nothing but love for that dude, man. Most definitely. I got nothing but love. Seriously. Here's a list advice, man. Go subscribe to his channel. List advice, yeah. I'm gonna check him out. 
I just hold, on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Right. You know, you gotta, uh, you gotta, you gotta uh, show the love to those that, that show love to you. So let me go ahead. Exactly. And just uh, uh, I, hey, Fred. Um, uh, man, just the, the fact that you can share something that you love with your kids. You know, watching the fights, man, that's beautiful. You know, I love, you know, training my girls, man, and going to uh, to uh, uh, going to fights with them. You yeah. know, um, uh, I got this picture on my over my uh, fireplace, man. It's me and the girls at uh, that fight. That, uh, as a matter of fact, that fight that we we, we linked up at. Matt, we met, yeah, yeah. Earl Spence, yeah. Uh, somebody. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We took a picture together. I got uh, with the girls, man. I got a real good picture of me and the girls at, uh, at that that's fight. Beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. So yeah, so, you know that's 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 beautiful, man. It's something that you can really, you know, share, you know, yeah. with uh, with the kids, yeah. man. you know. Hey, ask, ask him to uh, ask him to uh, do another super chat and uh, ask him uh, is his background Juneteenth. Let's let's do that just so I can make sure it's the right person. I'm sure it is, because that's the one I subscribe to. It don't look like him though, on on the, on the icons. That's what I'm asking. Is that you, Mr. Henderson? Juneteenth. How many subscribers you got? I, I mean, we're being quiet like he's going to just come out and talk. You know, black folks do that. Yeah, that's right. social engineering. That's what, that's hey, what that hey, you know, black folks do that all the time. Yeah. If you, you smell something and niggas just shut up. You're like... Yeah. Let me get out of here, man. Salute to you, brothers, man. Salute to all my brothers in the chat. I appreciate you. Thank you. Most definitely. Right. Thank you. I'm man. Appreciate you. Hey, champ, yeah. champ, before you go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I thought, hey. You're a fool, man. Yeah. <laughs> God, hey. I got the damn sense. Hey, every, every time Sergeant Dusty came in here, bro, he had no sleeves on. <laughs> hey, shirt got smaller. Shirt got smaller and smaller. <laughs> And then the nigga, and then the nigga added the earring. You ain't noticed that the nigga added the earring and shit. Uh, uh, man, y'all some clowns, man. Y'all some clowns. I'm out, man. <laughs> hey, the niggas are always giggle too, though. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Oh man. Mm. Golly, boy. Hey, so, so you don't need my place. This when do you need my place? I probably need it in December. Oh, and and, and that's for one night, right? That's for the tank fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, I have some furniture in there by then. Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm doing it now. So, so you go. You gonna make like an Airbnb? Uh, I think I'm gonna do Airbnb in that spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit, why not, man? Might as well. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. So I, I hopefully I have furniture. It, we're actually cleaning it up right now. He's doing it today. I'm I'm excited, man. I'm I'm excited, man. I'm excited for for boxing future. Boxing future is in, in great hands. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Uh, Shakur Stevenson. I don't know how people can call somebody boring that just makes somebody miss. Like makes people look so bad. Look what look how he made Jamal Heron look, Fred. Yeah, he made him look old. He made him look like somebody's uncle. Listen, uh, Uncle Rock, some shit like that. They better keep Never Rete the hell away from Shakur Stevenson. Oh, he throws so many punches. Him and him, him and uh, Oscar Valdez better stay away from Shakur Stevenson, boy. Man, Oscar Valdez is gonna be drinking gallons of tea. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah. You know who he is. Oh yes, hey. to be competitive. Cause you know that that body work that he was taking from uh, Joel Gonzalez. He ain't gonna be able to take that from Shakur Stevenson, and mm -hmm. all them like wild punches he be throwing and stuff like that. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work for Shakur Stevenson, man. I love him. Hey, hey, who could tell? I've been telling the whole world about Never Rating for a long time, my friend. Mm -hmm. I, I like Never Rating. I like him. He might. He one of my favorite Mexican fighters, man. You know, mm -hmm. I don't like many of them, but he one of them. Him, Benavidez. I like David. I like David. Yeah. Him, Benavidez. Who else? Who else is a good Mexican fighter that I fuck with like that? Well, there it is. <laughs> but hey, this is a good card we got coming up. We have um, Jamal James, my favorite welterweight. 
we have uh Jerron Ennis. My favorite boy. And what's the, and what's the third fight? Because Darwin Price is not even on a televised portion. He's what? On the, he's on a non televised. Yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I read an article last week. Why are they doing that? Don't worry, he win. He'll win. I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of this shit, though, Fred. Like I really am, dog. The man, the man, he puts on spectacular performances all the time. The one time he lost the fight, it, it was he was winning the fight, Fred. And Hawkins, he was beating them bad. All he was rounds. he was on his ass. And then when they stopped the fight, if you look at the fight, he wasn't even really getting hit with them punches. It was a bunch of shoe shine shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We talked about that on my show the last time he was on, man. It's just a bunch of a bunch of shoe shine shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was. I, I think Darwin Price got can be a world champion if he get the chance. If he get the chance, you're absolutely right. If he get the chance, That's what yeah, it's Jamal, about. yeah, we got to get Jamal J. We got to tell him how how much I adore him, how much I admire his work. We got to get. I have this number, in this phone that I got to charge. Yeah, hopefully we can get them on. You know we gotta get back on Stevie Fulton back on. Yeah, I got it. I hit him up. I'm yeah, hit him up. Boy. yeah, I told him the other day because they uh, dropping some merch. I said, nigga, that's what I've been waiting on for the, for the longest. Mm. The, the, a lot of boxers they gotta they gotta get into that into that merch business, man. You know what I'm saying? The only person that has done the merch business the way they're supposed to do it is Danny Garcia. He's the only person that has done the merch to a T consistently, right? And, and it ain't just shit you gotta wear to a boxing match neither, and that's what these niggas gotta understand. Like man, niggas wanna they wanna rock your shit uh, other than going to a fight. You know what I'm saying? Is Danny Garcia a gatekeeper? No, he's still a contender. He's still a contender. At one fifty four. He ain't at one fifty four, is he? I think so. I think he's moving on. So he might die at one fifty four, depending on who he fight. Man, it's a good card this Saturday, dog. This is a really good card we got coming up, man. I right, shout out to the PBC, man. You gotta give them credit for this. What, but who's the third fight, though, Fred? That's what we gotta. That's what we don't know. I don't know. It's probably some Russian. Um, mm, it's a good card, man. Jamal James and Jerron Ennis on one card. That's a that's decent. I want to see Jamal James put in work. No. I'm trying to figure out how Jamal James is the headliner. That's what I'm trying to figure out. He's a champion. Unfortunately, yeah, the warm in trouble. Yeah, his best bet is to his best bet is not to show up. His best bet is to get is to get that C nineteen. You know, that's hey, what. his best bet is to shell up. Oh, Michael Rivera, Michael Rivera, Michelle Rivera. Fuck is that? He knocked out. Uh, he got knocked down in his last fight, and he came back and knocked the other guy. Yeah, Mich thank you, thank you, Tone Brown. Oh, that nigga, the the, uh, the the Cuban Ali, the, the Puerto Rican Ali. Whatever. No, I'm saying like like he was uh he was on a card with uh with Gary Russell on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And I like right. that shit. I like him. I like him. I mm -hmm. like him. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna cool. watch that card. Yeah. No, nah, nigga, you go you're gonna be at that card. I'm probably not going, but uh, I, I may not Bro, even, you get us all I mean, hyped up like you finna go to the fight and then you say nah I ain't gonna supposed go. to say that. You're supposed to say that. Nah, uh, nigga, don't get me all hyped up, man. Shit. Uh I think that uh I may not even watch this card live, you know what I mean? But I'll watch it. Man. Because it's, it's something good coming on. Up. Oh, I think I'll be trick-or-treating. Hey, like that, so. hey, look, man, you, you turn into another, to a nigga we don't, we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't like, man. You turn into a nigga, talk shit and don't come to the fights, man. Come on, man. Man, I done been to hundreds of fights. No, nah, no. Nah, see, now your, your platform is, your, 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 your platform took a turn, so now. You know, you, you you talk shit now. You got to you got to come to these fights. Man, you can't yeah. just talk yeah, your shit and not come. Oh, for sure. Oh, that, that's and, and you know what? I I I don't think Lincoln's old enough. That he's I know he's not old enough to stay in the room by himself. So I really want to take Lincoln to fights, but I I so I'm really in that. Oh, I, I'm enjoy that. I'm enjoy that. Like I like talking shit and then running into the people I be talking shit about. I like that. You know? Actually, that, actually, that's what I miss. That's the one thing I miss is knowing, getting excited. Like, like I get excited about interviewing the people that I'm critical of. I enjoy that. Like, like Andre Ward. I drove to Fresno to go interview Andre Ward. 
that was a Sunday. Tank fought Saturday. I got in the car Sunday morning and drove. You know, like I I look forward to that. I ain't gonna lie. Like mm-hmm. I that's something that I really, really like, <laughs> like doing, you know, like like I pulled up on the Home Depot man, like uh not the Home Depot man, that the uh you pulled up, you pulled a garden boy, you pulled up yeah. on the- oh. I I I I pulled up on Oscar. Like I really enjoy doing that shit. I really enjoy doing it. But I'm telling you, man, ain't nothing like I, I really want Lincoln to uh like like boxing, you know, like I really want him to. I don't know why you I don't know why you want to uh see him down the rabbit hole that that we that we forced to that we forced to live yeah. in. He's uh, uh but it's something like like my grandfather, me and my grandfather was Yankees games, you know. So that's yeah. why I love the Yankees. You need, to, you need to make that something else, man. Don't 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 make him go yeah. down the sand road. Listen, man, we don't even want to be boxing fans, man. Yeah. Tell Corey Lee, my pull up game is Hall of Fame worthy, dog. My pull up game, yeah, and uh, yeah, I don't think there's no one I need to pull up on. I don't know if there's anyone who is Leonard Ellaby's never going to interview me. I asked the last time I spoke to Leonard Ellaby, I said, "Hey, can I get an interview?" He says, "Oh, man." You, uh, you got problems with with uh, Kelly Swanson. I was like, huh? What kind of shit is that? And I don't think there's no one. I, I wouldn't pull up on Kenny, Sean. I don't want to ever want to interview them. Uh, Andre Ward. I don't ever want to interview him. You know, uh, who would I want to interview? Timothy Bradley. But I, I Timothy Bradley. I think that'll be a fun interview in person. Uh, let's see. Who else? Uh, you know, oh, me and him had the same flight too. You and Timothy Bradley? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you went to LAX first? No, 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 no. We was, you know, we had we was in Atlanta. So Atlanta to uh, Phoenix, Phoenix to wherever. Oh, okay. Oh, he flew Frontier with you? No, no, no. This is American, American Airlines. He was, you know, first class and shit. I was, uh, I wasn't your first coach, but I was all the way in the back. Oh, okay, that's cool. Tim- Timothy Bradley's cool. Like, uh, no, but I told him, I told that nigga when I was because it was, it was, it was because, uh, I told the nigga when we, when we got on the plane together, I told the nigga, I said, listen, don't miss your calling, man. I said, this TV shit is cool. Like, you, are you great on TV and whatever, like that, man? I said, but don't miss your fucking call. I said, niggas can do both. I said, I seen niggas do both. I and, said, and, 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 yeah, he is a darker version of Sean Porter, but. But he, he he does say something. He says Sean Porter doesn't get into the details of the fight. I, Timothy Bradley does the details of fighting, and and that's the kind of stuff that I like. You know, like pick, seeing his brain into words. Like I, I like that. The thing about him though, he tell you exactly why he feel that way, mm-hmm. and and he give you a solution on how to get and how to get him get him away, like get his mind off of that like that like. Shakur Stevenson told you straight up, and this is what I'm saying. When I was telling him that man, like he, a lot of the fighters that he he said, like, oh man, it's a bad performance, this and that. He real critical of their performances. Their next performances are some of their best performances ever. Like the Carl Frampton, uh, the Jamel Heron, Carl Frampton. That was the fight after the headbutt shit, after his eye split, and then Timothy Bradley questioned him, uh, his 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 uh, his heart and shit like that. His next fight, he knocked Carl, Carl, Carl Frampton head the fuck off. Mm. Same thing with Shakur Stevenson. Very critical of the, of his last fight. He mm. went in there and destroyed Jamal Heron. So mm. he got a way of getting getting you fired up to want to prove him wrong. So I mm. think, and I think that'd be great as far as taking that to uh, taking that to um, being a trainer. Yeah. But I think, yeah, I think he'd be good at it, man, because. Hey. The way he broke that shit down. I mean, he really talked to that kid for 40 minutes. He and not only did he like just talk, he was like demonstrating what he wanted the nigga to do. Like, mm-hmm. you gotta, you gotta go to the body. You wanna come here and then you wanna, you know what I'm saying? Like he was really Yeah. Like, I, backpack I, I, on. I'm like, yo. I respect that. And, and you know what? My I, I don't agree with him, but I like his strong stance. Like, I I can appreciate that. And I appreciate. My respect for Timothy Bradley kind of grew for the Wilder Fury too. When he came up, when he pulled up on me, he actually pulled up on me, and he was like Hawthorne or Fred. What's up? Hey, what's up? He said, "I'll be watching your shit." He didn't say shit. I don't think he curses. And uh, I was like, "Oh yeah." He said, "Yeah, you, yeah." I said, "As well." 
you know, you'd be on some funny shit. And we got to talking, but I was buying a fight ticket at the time and I had dropped my money. And uh, so I was trying to do two things at one time and we couldn't continue the conversation. But what's up, Tay Jones? And uh, Tay, what's up with it, man? And uh, so hey, we, oh, Tay, can I tell him the story? Who? Tay, you know who I want to put on? on. Yeah, yeah. Fred, Fred, if he tell me, I can tell you this story right quick, bro. This nigga crazy. This nigga, Tay Jones, is crazy as hell. Tay, can I tell this damn story on wax? Good your crazy ass. If he's still in the chat. Is he still in the chat? Yeah. Uh-huh. Fred, if he if he sat to tell this story, bro, this nigga crazy. This nigga Tay Jones is fucking crazy, bro. He he's insane. Nah, he didn't say nothing yet. Okay. Uh, but you know who I want to pull up on? Al Heyman. That's what I said. That's what I was saying. That's 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 who I would want to pull up on. Like there's not really nobody right now that I'm real, real. He said, go ahead. He said that I'm really All agitated. Right. Go ahead. Okay, all right. This crazy motherfucker. All right, so we walk in, we walk into the State Farm Arena, right? We, we, me and him talking. Me, him, or DJ, we walking. Me, him, DJ, we walking to the uh, to the arena, right? We all call our wives at the same time and shit, right? So I'm FaceTime my girl, huh? Call out who? What are you talking about? You said we both call out who? Our wives. Oh, okay, gotcha. So me, him, or DJ, you know, we all married and shit. So we, we all called our wives at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Just did like, because we were like, oh shit, let me call my wife real quick. All right, yeah, I might as well call mine too. Shit. We walk in anyway, right? So I'm on the phone with my wife. I'm FaceTiming her, right? And uh, he on the phone with his, 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 his wife. Mike Carpenter walked past us, right? We not even paying attention. Nigga, Tay Jones, look up. He pointed at the motherfucker. He said, hey, hey, nigga, hey. Stop putting that boost on my brother, man. Stop running that bullshit, right? Mark Carpenter is like, what? He's like, yeah, did you hear me? Stop running that bullshit uh, by my brother. He said, who, 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 who's your brother? He said, you know who he is. Don't stop running that bullshit, right? Mark Carpenter, he goes, uh, man, I just, I just watched the fights. Man, that shit was funny as hell, dude. Yeah, yeah, Nigga yeah. Tate Jones about to that's beat Mike his Cop- ass, right? Huh? That's Mike Carpenter. That's, that's exactly who he is. Yeah. I just watched the fights. So we stop running that bullshit, right? I'm on the phone with my wife, right? I give her like the finger, like the hold on. You know, you know, black women hate when you call them and tell them to hold on and shit. You know that, you know, they hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know that if you got a black girl, you know what I'm saying, wife, whatever, you throw her that one finger up to, to say, hold on, she gonna cuss you the fuck out. Why you call me? She's telling me to hold on. And I'm trying to tell her, like, nigga, we in the I don't know if this nigga Tay Jones is gonna punch this nigga out or what. Hold on, because the nigga Tay Jones, he had this bottle in his hand, you know what I'm saying? And the way he was pointing that shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I thought I thought Mark Carpenter was going to go to sleep, you know what I'm saying? And uh, nigga DJ going to say, man, you was going to jump in on uh, Mark Carpenter. I said, yeah, nigga, he ain't got, to, he ain't got uh, keep that money. We was going to whoop his ass. <laughs> <laughs> shit. This shit, man, if he had some keep yeah. that money, nigga, I'd have had him, you know, had him punch me up, and he had to fell out. Yeah, I nigga, nigga, nigga yeah, Tay Jones. I, that's why you can't go to the fight. They be banned. That shit was funny as hell. Oh, he's bad. <laughs> no, Bob banned the nigga from coming to the fights and shit. Oh, he did. Yeah. So he didn't have a credential. I, I think it was half of one because we was going to the fight and then he was going uh, towards the hotel. Oh, okay, I mean he he can still get interviews though through phone calls like 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 me. Uh, but yeah, it, I'm glad it happened to him. Um. That shit was hella funny, though. That nigga Tay Jones literally, like, nigga, stopped everything. Like, he was, and, and, and Mike Carpenter, lucky that motherfucker didn't see him until he was, like, kind of, like, too far. Because, mm-hmm. you know, if a nigga too far, you can't walk walk up on a nigga, you know what I'm saying, and then beat him up and shit. As far as, like, being, like, who he is. Now, if he'd had another kind of, if he had another hoodie on, and he had his Deontay Wilder shit on, which I really want, but he won't sell it to me. I told him, name your price, but he won't, he, he ain't going to sell it. So he had he had that fire-ass uh, Deontay Wilder shit suit on the shit, so he couldn't beat the nigga up. He didn't know him. He didn't know who he was for sure. Couldn't even sneak it. I told DJ, I said, man, you should have DJ punch the nigga out. You know, DJ always want to punch somebody up. He said, you don't want me to punch, keep th-. He said, you don't want me to punch, keep thumb, but you want me to punch him out. I said, nigga, yeah, he ain't got to keep thumb with money. You know what I'm saying? Keep telling me that's that's a good that's three hundred fifty thousand. I said I'll give you the fifty. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. Yeah, it's uh, 
I, 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 while you were talking, I was trying to think. I they said Eddie Hearn. I already pulled up on Eddie Hearn. Oh yeah, something uh, heavy too. Put up yeah. on him heavy too. I, I, I paid about two thousand dollars for that interview because I I wasted a ticket to Baltimore to go get Tank Davis to go to the Tank Davis. He bought some Mexican. He he beat a Mexican up or something. Ramos something. Uh, so I I burnt that ticket and I went to Arlington for the uh, Jose Ramirez fight. Yep, I did that one. Damn, Al Heyman. Uh, yeah, that nigga, that nigga's a fucking ghost. Unless you the ghost, but no, he's easy to find because I know I I got I got friends, man. I, it's not hard. That's how I was getting people's phone numbers for the interviews, man. I got people. All you got to do, I, man, I ain't going to say it publicly, but yeah, man, it's easy to find people, dog. It's it's not hard. Yeah. Um, I think Al Heyman would be like the creme de la creme. Pull that's the only thing left. I know, that's it. Like, I'm trying to think who, who, I don't, I don't really think I have a problem with anybody now. Like, I, I mean, uh, no, like, no. Hmm. Who would you? I mean, me pulling up on Leonard LB is nothing. Like it's he's he's just gonna ignore me. <laughs> he's just gonna ignore me, dog. He's just gonna ignore me. That's that's nothing. I don't really care. Uh let's see. I missed that. I missed that adrenaline rush though. Just like y'all ain't see me pull up on Stephen A. Smith. Y'all remember that interview? Man, I got classics, dog. I got classics, man. I need to start reposting these shits on my Instagram and shit. Or, or I pulled up on Stephen A. Smith. Uh, Jason Whitlock got pulled up on. I pulled up on Jason Whitlock in the middle of the MGM. Yep, man. I was like, I was like, boo butt. I'm going. Yeah. The only yeah. thing, the only thing is, bro. I I be so engaged with just chopping it up with niggas. I forget my camera, dog. I don't. Yeah, be... yeah it's it's uh. I be uncomfortable, Fred. I be uncomfortable doing that shit, bro. Like, yeah, like, some people do. Some people do. Like when I, I be seeing Ellie, like the nigga, literally be like this in niggas' faces, cause like, yeah. like he he'll be ask you if you can if he can interview. He just show shit in your face. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Yeah, Ellie. Ellie is twenty four seven content. Um. Yeah, man. That's. I don't know if it's. Yeah, I can't do it, man. I, I be feeling awkward. I think Step Al Heyman would be the creme de la creme. I'm going to pull up on Al. Give me a couple of years. Why a couple of years, nigga? Why not right now? Because I'm not really interested in doing it now. Like, like, I'm not really interested in, like, I could get his address. I can get his phone number. I can get all that shit. That shit is not hard. Uh, uh, but the, uh, I'm just not, I'm not really, like, 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 Anthony Joshua was literally right across the street from me last week. Literally right, no, like literally right across the street. And I saw it on my timeline. I'm like, I ain't, I don't have no, I don't really have no, didn't want to talk to him. He was literally right across the street. I, hey, saw I, I passed upon a lot of niggas, bro. Mm -hmm. I passed uh, upon a lot of niggas. I almost passed upon, I, hey, listen, I was, I literally was going to pass up on uh, uh, Timothy Bradley until, mm -hmm. until that shit happened with that kid. Uh, yeah, Timothy Bradley, cool man. Like, like Timothy Bradley is a talker. What, uh, Fred? Fred, fuck that. Get the lion ass the zone dude. Who's the lion the zone dude? Eddie Hearn. I, I got him already. I got Eddie. Uh, I don't think no one's left. There are some people I'll never talk to j just from a, a a respect issue, you know. But outside of them, I don't think I've pissed too many people off. Who do you think I pissed off, Kyle? Everybody. God <laughs> <laughs> damn. You think you, so? Listen, you, you listen, you done you done you done piss everybody. You you public enemy number one out here in these streets, nigga. Oh, am I? Oh well fuck it. You done you done hey you, you Dave Chappelle. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You little boosie. Oh yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'll be strapped up in Vegas anyway, so it don't matter. Vegas open carry. <laughs> so it don't matter. <laughs> I'd never go to Vegas without without my best friend. Never. You know, never. So 
Uh, but uh, I'm trying to think, man. Like, you, Al Heyman, dog. You know, you know, pull up you know, on Al Heyman. Oh, hey, I thought Air Forty flies out of. You so. know, you know, you know what? Uh huh. Who? Play the song, Fred. Damn, man. Damn, man. <laughs> I think I'm trying to think who Al Heyman, dog. I got to pull up on Al Heyman, dog. That's the only thing worth. That, that's the only that's thing it. worth doing. That's it. That's it. Like. Not that something drastic happens in boxing, like that someone becomes disrespectful or something. I'm never going to interview the Porters. I'm never going to interview Leonard Ellaby again. Floyd, those are like, that wouldn't even be fun. That wouldn't even be fun. That's not even the end of it. I think that would turn into like physical altercation. Uh, uh, Al Heyman, Al Heyman, fuck it, Al Heyman, dog. That's the Al Heyman. That's the who I got to pull up on. People Hernandez, he's back from vacation. People Hernandez, Al Heyman. I got to pull up on Al Heyman. We gotta get a picture of that nigga, man. Huh? We gotta get a picture of that nigga, dog. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have my camera hot. I'm gonna pull up on his ass. Hopefully, ho- hopefully, uh, that on that on friends at Fox. I got friends on the Fox lot. Oh. Well, I mean, hopefully that don't affect uh, that don't affect uh, because your, yeah. to other people. Yeah, he walks in kind of. Yeah, I can do that. What you gotta do, hey, hey. I think Al Heyman would just set me. Would just would just be the ticket, right? I mean, yeah. if you could, if anybody could say Al Heyman interview, right. I'm not, it won't be an interview. I'll just pull up on his ass. Pull up on his ass, and you know I'm gonna tell him about why. Oh yeah. I got something to say to Al anyway, for sure. I got a lot to say to Al because he's not who y'all think he is. He, he blackface, for sure he is. Yeah. After what he does for black media, he can give a fuck about black media, dog. Like I'm telling y'all, man, y'all niggas don't know that side. He don't give two shits. It's my personal statement on the game like I'm basic. It's you turn to be the greatest yet. Bobbing and weaving and changing. Grandma, there go, there go Fred talking about Al again. Hey, no Al again. Oh, no. You don't believe me? I mean, Blue Blood has spoken about it. You know? 78 has spoken about it. Other media members have spoken about it. I'm not the only one. I'm just the most consistent one. You know what I mean? Go head over to the boxing section, man. We live yeah, go right to now. the boxing section. They live right now, and go sus- and go subscribe to Elicit Vibes. How many subs you got, Kyle? Uh, shit, I'm almost. Sh- I can't look at it right now because I'm uh, I'm doing a show. Don't worry right. about it. But uh, last time I checked, I was at a uh, uh, one set one seventy. So a thousand, thousand and seventy. So I'm almost at 1100. That's what's up. You're growing. People know you from the show. People recognize you from the show. Yeah, man, shit funny as hell. That's the point. That's the whole point. That's the whole point, man, that people people respect your work. Love y'all, man. Mayana. See you tomorrow, Kyle? I start Mayana. Appreciate you, man. I love hey. y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. If, if, if I don't come on, that's because I'm sleepy as hell. Dog. I, know, I get that. Time, I get it. Enjoy your night. Uh welcome home welcome home people hernandez appreciate y'all man peace